are guides, we are kings We march in faith cause we believe we can Change the world to what it needs Stand against our enemies cause we can Yeah We are kings demanding change Cause we believe we can So now, on that note, regarding popular persuasions and secret plots, get the video, please, BBC video. BBC video, we're going to start at uh, two minutes. We're going to stop at 50 seconds. It's going to get hot up in here. We're going to go through it thoroughly. Not the entire thing. Y'all can watch it on your own. I can care less. And, if you, an, and earlier, when the video first came out, um, it's whenever an IUSC video pops up, that pop, not the article, the actual video on YouTube. When the, whenever an IUIC video pops up, that pops up on top. So you saw it has a setup where the video had no views, but it was number one, trending. Demonic bastards you. It's okay though, because there's a God and you don't have one. It's six o'clock, I'm Jane Killick. Police investigating the disappearance of Joy Morgan, the trainee midwife from the University of Hertfordshire, have rearrested a man on suspicion of murder. A man's been charged with the murder of missing student Joy Morgan. The 21-year-old was last seen at a church in Ilford in London on Boxing Day. What will come out over the next few months is the story of a young woman who became distant from her family, deeply committed to a church. Now, the first, what he's going to emphasize on is being distanced from her family. You're going to keep hearing that over, and that's the best they can do. Distance from her family, distance from her family. You're going to keep hearing this over and over again. Um, I'm going to go into that as well. We do not advocate people distancing themselves from their family. If you, as we said before, if your family interferes with your walk in the truth, you separate yourself. If your family is respectful to your views and your, ide and your and our beliefs according to the Bible, then you deal with them accordingly. None of us have ever said to you, cut your family off, the hell out of the whole world. They never tell you that. But they're going to you, but they keep, they keep emphasizing distance yourself from your family. This is the stuff from my family. So this emphasis, just keep that in mind. We're going to stop at 50 seconds. There's the 229 so far. We're going to stop at 250. Go ahead. Described by some as a hate group, a church where she'll meet her murderer. I know that IUIC has the words of eternal life. Um, and I, I know it for a fact. And that's why I will continue to endure Lord's will and be of IUIC until the end. Lord's will. So I'm showing you at this point, just the joy when she was with us, she was very, very happy. Um, she was treated very well. There was no ill will towards her. She was happy where she was. She was, in a happy, she was in a good place in her life in this walk. All right? I wanted to start off with that first. Um, Deacon, let me ask them a question. If, we don't, if they don't have no class of us telling people to cut their family off, then where did they get that from? There's thousands of people watching us every single week. Where did they get that from that we tell people to cut their family off? Where they got that from? It's always the people who leave who say that. Yeah. They broke up my marriage. They told me I can't do it. Why they never complain about it when they're here?
But when they leave and they want to say that they're a cult because they did this and they did that, it's only them who say it. Because th those people have the money and the resources to search through all our videos. They should be able to have video footage of us saying those claims that they put against us. Right. So how come now when they're doing slander against us, now they say that we do it? Pay attention to what I'm saying. It's always the people who leave. They have to justify. They have to give a reason why they sat there so long and listened. They'll be like, well, why you sat there and listen? Now they got to make something up. So they're going to say these key, they broke up my marriage. They cut my family. They told me to cut my family off. They forced me to come on Saturday. They told me I couldn't wear pants. You just pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention. Go ahead, Deacon. Four minutes, and exactly. Go to four minutes and 20 seconds. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm not going to watch the whole thing like it's a movie theater. I'm going to go through each section. 420, we're going to go to 420. We're going to stop at 524. 420 to 524. Her uncle Prince, stepdad Sean, and dad Paul all died between 2006 and 2014. With Prince passing first was like... Hard for everybody, but yeah, it would have been hard for Joy. She was really sick. In London, in the UK particularly, it was a, a huge, just a stronger melting pot. Out there, a lot of us are raised, a lot of heathens are raised together. Like Jake, East Indians, Arabs are all raised together in the same conditions. So they grow a certain bond and they intermingle families. Sister Joy's father was Jake, but the, just, I, think, I believe her sister's father is not. You understand? So that's why it looked, like, that's why they looked that way. Her father, he passed on. I think they show him he passed on. She had a lot of loss in her family. I think her uncle, her father, biological father passed on. Her stepfather, who's the other nation, he passed on as well. So they're going into that. Go ahead. It's been hard for Joy. She was really sad about that. Her stepdad, that was terrible because that was cancer, like what happened to Prince. Um, and then obviously what happened with her dad was really, really bad. And she was sad. She was low. In 2014. For her to know that, I mean, she was talking to her. I want you to hear the hypocrisy. For her to know, well, well that's just long, long ago. I'm going to show you our proof that she was talking with them while she was with us. But she's saying that she was sad at the time when she had a loss of these people in her, in her, in her family. So go ahead. In 2014, Joy's dad took his own life. She had um, a lot of tragic losses back to back. So she was very vulnerable and like, she wanted, she wanted to feel part of something. Before coming into the truth, I was kind of into the Illuminati thing, so I was like watching videos, like researching it, and then one of the suggested videos was um, from IUIC, from IUIC Atlanta camp, and from then I was mind blown, and from there it just continued. It was not long after her dad's death that Joy started becoming interested in a church called Israel United in Christ. We haven't come to play no games. Who's the king? Christ! Who's the king? Christ! The church was founded in the US in 2003. Its leader is a man called Bishop Nathaniel. IUIC is part of the Black Hebrew Israelite movement. It believes that Black, Hispanic and Native American people are God's chosen ones and are the true descendants of the biblical 12 tribes of Israel. In the beginning, it was a proud feeling. It was a feeling of being a part of a unity, a unified group. You don't really feel This is a disgruntled member of ours that's from Vegas. We call her Blue Waffle because you know why we call her Blue Waffle. She um, left the, the organization because she wanted penis. We say, you're not ready for penis yet. Stop being thirsty. No. Ah, she went bananas over the ride and she left. That's pretty much the whole end of it. That's, some, that's start to finish right there. That's from A to Z in a nutshell. She went a penis. She said no. She got mad. She left. That's the, that's the end, end of it. And she had all kinds of psychological problems. Brother she was into named El Kena. She's running her mouth against him because he, he wasn't interested in her because he found out that she had the blue apples, which is not real. It's just a, a, a term on the internet for people who have diseases that won't go, ever go away. So she talked to him. He found she, had, she was burning. He was like, nah, I ain't trying to burn tonight. I'm good. And then, and then she got mad again. So she left and she just feels about him. She's, just, she's nonstop action. And she's like a freaking Dahard movie. She's nonstop. And, hey. and when you speak to the people in Vegas, like I said, she's attacking the sisters that were helping her when she left. Right. Okay, her sister just had to put up defense videos because she's slandering her totally. 
But she said in the video that she was stood up in classes and humiliated on several occasions. Y'all yeah, been asking Vegas to tell me one time she was stood up. No one can confirm it. No one remembers her being stood up or anything. It's like I said before, for her to leave and bring credibility to herself and bring a voice to herself online, she has to do what? Lie. Make things up. She is a pathological liar. Mm -hmm. All the people that supported her in the beginning, I remember how much how she was views she was getting. Then she started asking for money. Then she said, I need money to buy equipment. Mm -hmm. It's all thing. Now she has this fake uh, uh, against religious abuse organization. When you watch the video that I told y'all to watch last night, yo, there's people saying that she's not helping nobody. Her old focus is just to attack IUIC. Mm -hmm. Watch the video I showed y'all last night. The people that helped her with the group is saying that people are reaching out to her and she's ignoring them. People are emailing her, she ain't paying them no mind. Her whole focus is just IUIC and anybody who tries to come to our aid. Mm -hmm. We don't, we don't um, watch, let's, let's go to 40, we're gonna go to 45, go ahead. Part of a unity, a unified group. You don't really see a lot of black people together, honestly, so I had a, a sense of pride, a sense of, yes, like we're actually organizing something, we're doing something for God, and so I, I was very prideful in the beginning. I was happy, I was excited. I watched men who came in that were drug addicts, drug dealers, you know, um, and they actually changed. Seeing how, how the Bible could... I want y'all to listen to what he says. Go back to what he says. Go back right there. Listen to what he says. Don't, don't, don't talk while he's talking. I want you to listen to what he says. I'm going to show you the hypocrisy and the contradiction in this dude. I'm telling you, he's the worst in all. He, I think this guy is like the, is, is the worst in Israel history, man. The worst ever. The of worst. Everybody we ever had an issue ever. with, he is the worst. The worst. Hands you are the down. worst. I know you're watching. He's you are the, the worst. worst. He's Red. a low life. Worst. Yes, like we're actually organizing something. We're doing something for God. And so I, I was very prideful in the beginning. I was happy. I was excited. I watched men who came in that were drug addicts, drug dealers, you know, um, and they actually changed. Seeing how, how the Bible could unify our people to where the barriers of, you know, blacks, Hispanics fighting each other, you know, just us as, a, as a, being at the bottom of society, you know, uh, 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 hating one another, we were now treating one another like family. But so at this point, he, he, him being with us, he witnessed brothers change, brothers becoming family, blacks and Spanish coming together and treating each other like a family, right? Organized. You already said. These are his words, not mine. Let's continue. Watch, watch, watch. Watch Satan step into him later on. IUIC has some controversial views. This group's philosophy is if you're not part of certain races, you will eventually be their slave. But leaders say they are not a hate group because they claim they don't hurt anyone. The other nations are going to be our slaves in the kingdom. So I will be your slave? Yes, according to the Bible. All the other nations that uh, came up against us, they put us solos into slavery that are oppressing us, they're going to be slaves in the kingdom and we're going to be the ruling people in the kingdom under Christ. These views have resulted in it being labeled as a black nationalist Pause. hate group. See what they're showing in the video? That's fear, like, yo, show that, show the, show the march. They're showing that to incite terror in the people. He's just, look, look how many there are. There's so many of them. They try to blow out, the, they try to blow out our logo. You can't blow that out, so it's like that org. You can't blow that Y'all Give, giving us more publicity, man. This video is excellent. We want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts, Esau. We want to thank you for the publicity. Clap, clap, your, hands your, clap your hands for yourself. Clap your hands for yourself. Clap your hands for yourself. <laughs> okay. Continue. By a civil rights organization in the U.S. They have the belief. No, I don't want that yet. That's that. Just that. that I'm not gonna say. It, I'm not gonna say it. Y'all seen Blade One with the thing, with the flashlight? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Y'all watch Blade One, that's what I'm talking about. Blade One. What's that? Oh, that, oh, it's nothing. It's routine research. <laughs> Actually, it's a video game. <laughs> that must have hurt. It's a fragment, a piece of the prophecy. What a prophecy? Oh, I'm not really sure. There's so many outside. <laughs> 
Go seven, keep going, keep going. Seven seventeen. No, 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 no. Go back. Say where you're at. Yeah, say where you're at. Go, just let it go to seven seventeen. Go ahead. A civil rights organization in the U.S. They have the belief that Caucasians are, are literally, not figuratively, not like metaphorically, but they are literally the devil. So what white people have done, like with slavery, for example, and other ways of oppressing uh, black people are because they're the devil, right? It's because white people have this, uh, you know, horrific. That's it? What was that at, 710? Okay, make it small and see where it was at. 717, you have 748, these brothers, man. Oh my God, <laughs> oh man. Give me uh, Isaiah 14 and verse one, please. This is uh, Heidi. Bayrick, Heidi Bayrick over here, all right? Now, she says that uh, we are a hate group and that we push slavery and so forth. Isaiah 14, one, please. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and Go set ahead. them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and, that, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Go ahead. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in what, the land of what, the Lord. What shall we do? And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. For? For servants and handmaids. That's the Bible. That's in the Bible. Go ahead. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. That's biblical. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from thy hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. This never happened yet. It says that's prophetic. It has not happened yet. Get Jeremiah 30 verse 16. You get mad, you get mad, you're not mad at us. You're mad at the Bible. You're not mad at us. The Bible says that. We're not saying that. The Bible says that. If it says something else, we'd say it. If it said love all nations, they're going to get the kingdom along with you and we're going to be happy and equal together, we'd say that. That's not in here. Y'all want us to lie, though. We ain't going to be like you. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Jeremiah 30, 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them. And all thine adversaries, every one of them. Go ahead. Shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. All of you. All of them. Every one of you. Ain't no, land, ain't no translation you can use to go against that. It says every one of you shall go into captivity. That's what it says. I'm, uh, what, what you want me to do? <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. Or you. Revelation 2 and 26. No, Isaiah 60. For, I'm sorry, I skipped that one. I'll read that first. Isaiah 60, verse 10 to 14. Isaiah 60. Verse 10, real quick. Because Isaiah 60 is repeated in Revelation 21. Isaiah 60. You got to go there now. Isaiah That's 60 and, and 10. Yep. And, that, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. As servants and handmaids, they shall build up our walls. The sons shall build up our walls. Go ahead. And their kings shall minister unto thee. Be servants. For in my wrath I smote thee. Us as Israelites. Thee as Israel. Go ahead. But in my favor have I had mercy I will, on thee. And I will yet have mercy upon Israel. I will yet choose Israel. Isaiah 14. Same thing. Go ahead. Therefore thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. Go ahead. That men may bring unto thee the forces. Or the wealth. Go ahead. Of the Gentiles. And that their kings may be brought. We read that psalm earlier. How they be brought in chains. Psalms 149. They'll be brought in chains. Go ahead. For the nation and kingdom. That will not serve thee. That shall, will not serve thee, us Israelites. That will not serve thee. Go ahead. Shall perish. Will die. Go ahead. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Destroyed. Go ahead. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. The what glory? Go ahead. The fir tree. Wood. The pine tree. More wood. And the box together. Go ahead. To beauty, beautify 
the place of my sanctuary. To decorate it. Go ahead. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. Well, see, you nations, man, understand our stance regarding the other nations. You nations are VIPs. You're not on the tall child's truck. You guys are on the top. You're a, v, you're a very important people. We need you. <laughs> y'all don't understand. I don't hate you. I love y'all. Because y'all have such work to do. There's so much work for y'all to be, to be done in the kingdom. What's the kingdom without subjects? I mean, we need y'all. Y'all are VIPs. Y'all should, remember, we go to the tall child's truck. We're going to put VIP, put nations next to it. Then put the 12. Just for you. So you feel at home. Because you will be at home. You'll have jobs, like Trump, like Trump does. He'll give you jobs. <laughs> You'll have benefits. I don't understand a problem. You know, I mean, we're, we're servants of God. You're servants of us. What's the, what's the, uh, the big yeah, deal? Think, Read on. Verse 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow, shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. See, you get to bow yourself down at the soles of our feet. See, there's wrong, nothing wrong with that. It's humility. Humility. Respect. Respect. You know, go ahead. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Go ahead. Verse 15. Whereas thou hast been forsaken. Whereas we have been forsaken. And hated. And we were hated. Go ahead. So that no man went through thee. No, we were, we were rejected of men. Go ahead. I will make thee an internal excellency, a joy of many generations. See that? We're going to be a joy on the earth for thou hundreds upon hundreds of years, forever and ever and ever. Jump to uh, Revelation 2 and 26. New Testament. Revelation 2, 26 to 27. Wait a minute, I need to wake up after. <laughs> I'm sleeping. To wake Revelation up. two twenty six. So we in the dream right now. Yeah. Talking about ever, 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 ever. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> two twenty six. Revelation two and twenty six. And he that overcometh. He that overcometh. Go ahead. And keepeth my works unto the end. He's a commandments unto the end. Go ahead. To him. To him. Go ahead. Will I give power over the nations? No power with the nations. To him will I give power over the nations. Power equal with the nations. Power. Over the nations. Power over the nations. That's not equality. Power over the nations. Over the nations. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, we've been destroyed. We've been destroyed too much as a people. When we read scripture like that, we think, we really pop up. What really pop up in, my, uh, in our mind is we're going to share. There no, is no, it, no. It, it's not, it's not, it's not going to be no sharing. It's just going to be strictly Israelite. Then guess what? When you have power of uh, nations, not one nation, nations, guess what? They are your possession. Right. That's what Isaiah 14 said. Go ahead. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Because some subjects are going to be disrespectful. And they got to be, you know, checked. You got to give them, you know, we got to give them a tune-up. You know, put up a resistance and things got to take place to make sure it doesn't happen again. That's what the Lord says. Daniel 7, 18. Huh? Yeah, we've been, oh, yeah, we've been, go uh, we've been go too disrespected. We've been dispe uh, disrespected to all nations. Yeah, 13, 9. Get 13, 9. You know, 13, 9. Then when we're looking at the power the Lord's going to give us, we demand our respect. You understand? These nations must bow down and show us our respect. The book of Revelation 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Watch this, the bottom part. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the patience we have and the faith we have is that those who led us into captivity will go into captivity. Those who killed us by the sword must be killed by the sword. That's our patience and faith. It, you, you can't get mad at us for our faith. That's our faith. That's what it says. Sorry. Daniel 7, verse 18. Daniel 7, 18. Like Laba said, we're not going to share anything. Well, we Daniel. Gonna share. We're going to share. We're going to share the workload. We're going to share. 
Daniel verse, uh, yeah, 18. 7, verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. No, I'll share it. Shall take the kingdom. Negotiate it. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. The saints of the Most High, the Israelites, we shall take the kingdom. Take it. Go ahead. And possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Even forever and ever. Jump to verse 21. It's a lot of forevers. 21. I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. Revelation 11, verse 7, made war over kingdom and, and, and killed them. Go ahead. Until the ancient of days the heavenly, came. The heavenly father. Go ahead. And judgment was given to the saints of the most high. Judgment means power was given to them. Go ahead. And the, and the time came that the saints possess the kingdom. That the saints possess the kingdom. 27. And the kingdom and dominion. And the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Here you go again. And all dominion shall serve and obey our king and us under him. Shall serve and obey him. If you serve, you're a servant or a maid, whatever. Maid, servant, whatever. Understand? Anybody understand that? Yes, sir. Wisdom of Psalm 3 and 8. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to point something out. The hypocrisy of the mindset of the people that put the videos together and come against us. 95% of you that came here, you didn't come here because we were speaking against any race of people. Right. Or telling you to hate you. Ku Klux Klan, they formed their organization saying, they hate niggers, they hate spits, they hate this. They said that's how they grabbed the audience. They ain't talking nothing about God. And there were organizations that's been around since the beginning of the creation of, of this nation, since the birth of this nation. Y'all didn't come here because we were saying, hey, you, you hate white people? Come join us. You came here to serve God. This, this is not a black and white thing. This is a right and wrong thing. And what God wants is order on this earth. And he's going to set up a specific people to instill order on this earth. So any of y'all saying y'all came here because we were telling you to hate white people, hate this person, hate that person, you are a liar. Right. The people who came here is to serve God. We're telling you what God wants and we're telling you how he wants order on this earth because this world is out of order. And you cannot leave it to the people that control it now to restore order because they're serving their own belly. They're serving their own wants, their own needs. So for justice to be executed on this earth, you got to follow what the Bible says. So any of y'all saying when y'all leave here, oh, they're telling you to hate white people. You're a liar. You are a liar. You should have some footage. You should have some proof. You should have secretly record somebody saying that. Do that. Y'all want to secretly record somebody? Record somebody here putting a plot against white people. Like all the, all the other hateful organizations do. They say it openly. How come there's no video on them? There's no people leaving there saying, look at the footage I got. But here, they got to make things up by people who don't want to serve God. Get the hell out of here with that foolishness. Right. It was a Solomon 3 and 8. It was a Solomon 3 and 8. It was a Solomon 3 and verse 8. They shall judge the nations. What will Israel do? They shall judge the nations. And what else? And have dominion over the people. And their Lord shall reign forever. I didn't write this. Our forefathers wrote this. It is what it is. Get John 10.34. I'm going to read it is what it is. I'm going to read it is what it is. And about the Bible. Watch. John 10.34. Jesus answered him, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. Psalms 82, watch this. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came. Israelites, go ahead. And the scripture cannot be broken. It is what it is. The scripture cannot be broken. It says what it says. It is what it is. We can't change it. You can't change it. Deal with it. It is what's it. Go back to the video again. Have the belief that Caucasians are, are literally, not figuratively, not like metaphorically, 
but they are literally the devil. So what white people have done, like with slavery, for example, and other ways of oppressing uh, black people are because they're the devil, right? It's because white people have this, uh, you know, horrific, it's like we're, white people are genetically driven to destroy black people. Uh, in comparison. Notice they put him right behind her. Right. Okay, y'all don't see that? Yeah. Okay, he's the devil. Him right here, I'm telling you, he is the devil. Okay? The, the devil don't come in one color, so don't make this a black and white thing. This is a right and wrong thing. You got the, pe the people of our, that, that are saying that they are for us, could be the most dangerous to us. So yep. just get that through your head. Keep going, go keep let it go, let it go, let it go. Keep going, let it go. In comparison to the Israelite community itself, yes, they're a hate group. Because the- Stop, the, stop, stop. Stop, go back, go back to what he said. I missed it, it was fast. No, not that, no, go, to what she, go back to her again, a little bit. Right there. Listen to what he says. Play it. Remember, it earlier, on. Remember, it's coming earlier. He saw people change. Family structures being formed. Remember that? Remember that, Laba? Yes, what Makai, my scene, remember that? Yes. Y'all remember that? Do y'all remember that? Yes, sir. Go watch. Watch what he says. Listen carefully. Itself? No, go yes, back. You're, going, you're starting too, too late. Go back to her again. 750. Right there. Yeah, 750 white people have this, uh, you know, horrific, it's like we're, white people are genetically driven to destroy black people. They are. Uh, in comparison to the Israelite community itself, yes, they're a hate group. Stop. Stop. In comparison to the Israelite community, yes, we are a hate group. That's why I keep saying, yeah, this guy is not Israel. I'm telling you straight up. His actions say he is not Jake. Jake does not say things like this. Or do the things he's doing, or move how he's moving. Not that he's light skinned I got light skinned kids. That's right. That's got, nonsense. Got nothing to do. Y'all, you can pass my kids. Are, my kids are whopping skin. And see so people here. Light, light skin stuff. <laughs> That's right. They're trying White to make yellow it, kids. They're trying to make it a color thing. There's plenty he of people is. amongst us. He's trying to make it a color thing. He's trying to do it. That's what does the devil mean? Deceiver. That's what that man is, bro. He's a, he deceived all of us. He's a deceit. As far as him saying he's exposing us, the only thing that he exposed us on, we made a mistake bringing him in here. Right. That's the only thing. That's it. Okay, he ain't exposing nothing else. With the, uh, the uh, camps, it's like, oh, he's exposing you. What you're exposing, um, let me make it clear, was that we didn't see you for the devil you was. You're exposing yourself. So the dude and said that of, out of, in the Israelite community, we are the hate group. Now, when you examine when we teach, all Israelite groups... Well, one, I'll say one West groups have different, different breakdowns, right? But we all agree on a number of things. We're all Israelites, right? And we all believe the white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. Do we not believe that? All of us, despite our ideological differences, we all know who Israel is and who the enemy is, who the devil is. The Bible tells you until the wicked is revealed, the end cannot come. So all Israelites, the ones that go on the street and teach like, like they're supposed to, they know this. So how is it that out of all the groups, we're the hate group? If all of us teach that exact same thing. This dude, Satan entered this guy. Satan stepped into this dude. Just like Judas is Either he is a jet yes. and Satan is using him like a car, just driving him around. That's right. Or he's straight up genetically an Edomite. It's one or the other. It can't be no different in between. This act, this behavior here is 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 a, I'm, I am a, I am in awe. That's right. At this at this at this guy. That's right. We did much for this brother. Much well, brother. I thought That's he. I don't right. know what hell he is. We did much for this dude. Much for him. That's right. And to go about and to say that on a BBC network that we're a hate group above it is like we're no shame. And he said earlier he saw us change. How can a hate group change lives? <laughs> right, bring right, people right, together right, as a right, family. Right, 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 right. How, that's hypocrisy. Right, right. Help me here. Help me here. Help me here. He was there in the beginning of the organization where we wasn't even wearing purple and gold. Bringing his wife, bringing his children, bringing his second wife. At what point did he say, wait a minute, wait a minute. How did I get here? They hate white people. They're a, they're a cult. They're a hate group. When did that happen? When did that transition come? You've been here 13 plus years. At what point did you wake up and say, I'm in the wrong place? You see, you see what I mean? It's always when they're time to leave. Now all of these things come to them now. They hear a voice behind them saying, get out and attack them. That's what's happening to them, bro.
That's what they're like. We're saying it like it's a joke. When, it, when you read how Judas Iscariot stepped inside, Satan stepped, Satan inside. stepped inside of him, we're seeing that live, man. Mm -hmm. Live. And what you see they did, they put him right after, right after her. Now, Southern Poverty Law, what does they teach? Is a reason for that. Southern Poverty Law teach that we are what? A hate group. You understand? So after the, 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 the demon, <laughs> the devil speak, the other devil speak. You understand? The other devil speak saying the same thing, that we are a hate group. Mm -hmm. You know, now, as I said, I would have never expect that from that dude. But Satan has Satan enter into him, and that's why when we tell you all, you all leave us, you all left the truth. How much we always saying that, and people mad at us for saying that, right? Look at, look at, look at they that. They say, they say, they say, why they keep saying that? You gotta be with IUIC, why right? you to, to be in the truth? You don't gotta be with IUIC. Listen, we told you all months ago. We said these brothers, you all leave them alone. Every last one of them that leave up out of here, they ain't right. You understand? They have left the truth. You know, when you look at mac and, mac and cheese, them dudes, they teaching all type of different doctrines, man. They come in with all type of different heresies. They have left the truth. They become reprobate. Now, this dude, he's side with the enemy. Right. You know, Bezalel has side with the enemy to destroy this truth. No and, and, and check it, right? It's not just, it's, it's not just that, that, doc, that documentary is not just against us. For, for you, you men that call yourself leader of the Israelite community. Let, let's be specific. You idiot. You men that supported him when he left. You men yep. that took his video and put it on his page. You men that were sharing the information on Facebook. Okay? Y'all look stupid and evil like right. you are now. You ain't no leaders. You're not no leaders, man. You all fake. You were sitting behind the cut just like him with hatred. And he just put egg on your face. Because all of y'all were supporting him. I right. could run off numerous camps that had his videos on his page. He was calling them. He was speaking them. That's why he said he spoke to people from Bishop Nathaniel's past. What are you contacting them for? To line right. these dumb people up that say that they're leaders of the Israelite community. Here's the you irony. fake. And they said, here's the right, irony. Listen. Here's the irony. Here's the irony. I'm going to blur it out. The irony is the elder he reached out to was the same elder that counseled his first wife to divorce him the first time. That's right. He reached out to that same elder to get dirt on our elder. That's right. The same elder that destroyed his first marriage, he reached out to to get information on our elder. Brother. That's right. You know, what's wrong with you? Are you retarded? No, he, he got Yo, the devil in him. So bro. this brother have left the truth. He gonna still be up there saying, oh, I'm an Israelite, I keep on the laws. It's just IUIC is a cult. And it's not just he repeating that. You got other Israelite camps. Repeat saying that we are called. Where they the got same that from? Thing. The same thing. Same thing. thing. Y'all watching their videos. All of you supporting that their, their, their evil. Your time is gonna come. Also, most I gonna so he's he led your demise. When he get judged, you get in judge also. The hand join in hand, y'all shall not go unpunished. Right. And a lot of y'all join hands with him, and you think you're just going to pull back later on now that he's being revealed? No, you're going to pay just like he's going to pay from right. the most high. Get that website, Delhi, Delhi uh, Signal, regarding the SPLC, because, because uh, she, that woman, um, Heidi Benerick, whatever her name is, she's part of the SPLC. She's the, the uh, spokesman for the SPLC. So read this here. Heidi Bayerick, a character assassin under the banner of peace, respect, and understanding. Read that. You zoom in a little bit more. She's a character assassin. And what does he mean by she's a character assassin? Just look up the videos on Southern Poverty Law. They've attacked doctors. They've attacked school teachers. You know, they hand. attack anybody that goes against that's their hand. agendas that they have. And there's proof of it there. Yep, we're going to stop that where it says who associate with them. We're going to stop it there. Stop in the beginning and read all the way down. SBLC's Heidi Burke, a character assassin under the banner of peace, respect, and understanding. Uh huh. Zoom in a little bit more. This is from last year. Okay. okay. Thank you. Before Heidi Burke began working on the Southern Poverty Law Center in 1999, she was a left-wing ideolo uh, ideologue. I think ideologue preparing for a career in the academy. She was a graduate of UC Berkeley and had earned a doctorate in political science from Purdue, where she pursued her interests in the mal maladies of white nationalism and neo-fascism. She was steeped in the ideology of postmodernism, which regards the history of Western civilization, especially in the United States, as an endlessly 
dreary tale of oppression in the service of white supremacy. As Burek told ABC News, I think sometimes Americans forget that this country was founded on white supremacy. It was. It still is. Go ahead. Those of us who are now alarmed of at the extremism at, of the else. SPLC should not forget that it once did heroic work against the Ku Klux Klan. Originally it did, go ahead. Winning lawsuits that drove several branches of the hooded fanatics into bankruptcy. From its base in Montgomery, uh, Alabama, its, fun its fundraising materials solemnly invoke a vision of peace, respect, and understanding. That is the voice of the admirable Southern Poverty Law Center. Heidi Burke has been instrumental in building the Contemptible side of the SPLC. The, the contemptible side, side. Go ahead. Which, which, as we reported in 2010, a, is marked by a poverty of ideas, a dependence of, on dishonesty, and a lack of fundamental decency. Mm -hmm. She routinely engages in distortion, half-truths, cheap shots, smears, and character assassination. Here you go. go she ahead. is the SPLC's princess of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> She the devil. Who, who wrote this? Was she it the devil. Was it black people who wrote this? No. Was, was it okay. <laughs> she is the SPLC's princess of darkness. She is the reason why National Review has written that while the SPLC was once valuable, it has become hateful and vile. They say because of her. It's, become, it's, it's turned. It's changed. Go ahead. Burek directs the SP SPLC's intelligent project, with, which oversees the Hate Watch blog which monitors white supremacists and other extremist groups. She also directs the research for the SPLC's annual list of hate groups. It is a well-publicized blacklist hall of shame, including some truly awful people like the Klan. But over the past decade, decade, Burek has led an aggressive expansion of the list for the purpose of shaming, 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 me, uh -huh. shaming mainstream socially Mainstream socially conservative groups like the Family Research Council. Regular people, go ahead. In the Center of Immigration Studies, whose staff also includes some moderate liberals like me who think the Democrats have lost their way by renouncing long-held concerns about illegal immigration. As Mark Potter, Bjerg's longtime partner at the SPLC said, our aim in life is to destroy these groups, uh -huh. completely destroy them. That's our goal, go ahead. Burek applies the hate group smear with all the precision and of a juvenile delinquent spray painting obscenities on a schoolyard wall. That's what she does. Go ahead. She is equally reckless in her designation of extremists. Uh -huh. As R R Real Clear Politics reported last year, you can find yourself on the SPLC's hate map if you haven't gotten fully abroad on gay marriage. See that? Mm. You can find yourself on a hate group if you don't accept gay marriage. Or the Democratic Party's immigration views. Hope you're against immigration. Go ahead. In other words, the SPLC classifies individuals and organizations as purveyors of hate for holding the same view on marriage espoused by Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton until mid-2012. Go ahead. Despite her record of reputational rampage, Burek is highly regarded on the campuses of such elite institutions as middle Berry College. Last year, students at the Vermont school went on a tear after reading the SPLC's designation of conservative intellectual Charles Murray, whose first wife was Asian American as a white nationalist, chanting insults, setting off fire alarms, and shouting, Murray down! The students drove him off of campus. They also put Middlebury in the center of a discussion on the rise of intolerance for conservative ideas and free speech at colleges across the country. Jump down, jump down, jump down. Uh, go to political. Political quoted this observation. Political quoted this observation from Cornell Law Professor William Jacobson. Time and again, I see the SPLC using the reputation it gained decades ago, fighting the Klan as a tool to bludgeon mainstream politically conservative opponents. Uh -huh. The groups that do not threaten violence, the use of SPLC hate group or extremist designations frequently are expo exploited as an excuse to silence speech and speakers. That's what their agenda is, to silence us by saying we're a hate group and we're not threatened, they're not threatening or violent, but they use this as a way to silence speech and speakers. Go ahead. It taints not only the group or person, but others who associate with them. But makes all those look bad. So and the Israelites are attacked. It's not just us being attacked. It's all of us fall under that same banner. Right. All of us. Right. For you 
stupid leaders that side with that with that dude. Y'all are with with that devil. Y'all are on the Southern Poverty Law too. A lot of you one West Cramp. All, all of y'all are up up there. You know what I mean? And you all side with that with that demon bezel bezel liar. Because they hate us. You know, because you all hate us. That's right. But in, in him attacking us, your stupid behind is being attacked too. That's what you all don't understand. That's how me you as a leader, are. me as a leader, I understand. Even though these these brothers, we don't rock with them because of the evil that they speak of us. We like to rock with them, but when we sit back and we listen to stuff, we be like, nah, these guys That's hate right. us. We'll, we'll hate look us. like fools. We can't, we can't rock with these guys. They hate us, man. Right. They secretly hate us, you know. So we, so even though in all of that, we'll never side with the enemy or side with nobody to go against these guys. That's right. You know what I mean? We'll never do that because we are, we as a leader understand that they go against these guys, they go against you, or they go against us. You understand? Esau does not separate us and be like, okay, well that's IUIC. Okay, no, this is this is this is another Israelite group. That is another Israelite group. I'm just coming for IUIC. I'm leaving all of you all alone. No, Esau didn't work like that. You know what I mean? First and foremost, he go for the head first. He go for the head shot. And then he, he get rid of the, the stragglers that left behind, you know? Now, she's part of SPLC, correct? Now, recently they were exposed. The SPLC itself was exposed. For what? Go down. Blow it up some. To be a short article. That's the founder right there. The co-founder. That's him right there. Go down. Watch it. Read that. Let me read it. Yeah, they said, the co-founder of the Southern Poverty Law Center, a deep-pocketed left-wing civil rights organization, was fired on Wednesday. Was fired. Morris Dees, a prominent lawyer who founded the SPLC in 1971, was reportedly forced out due to workplace misconduct. Though the organization didn't specify what that misconduct was. They kept it secret and it hidden. What? The That's Los it. Angeles Times reported a letter signed by about two dozen employees and sent to management and the board of directors before the news broke of these firing said that they were concerned that the internal allegations of mistreatment, sexual harassment, gender discrimination, and, and racism. Oh, Threaten the more moral authority of his, this organization and our integrity along with it. So these things are found in the SPLC, but they're able to label racist and discriminative groups. Okay, and mm. that's what they're, they're accusing us of that. Right. Okay, if they hear any issue, if it's magnified. Anything happened here, it gets magnified. These, these are supposed to be the people watching out for you. And look what their leaders are doing, man. Yep. Read the bottom right there. Read that. The Sham Group. The Sham Group, Southern Poverty Law Center, amassed over five hundred million in cash offshore accounts. Getting Why paid. you put money offshore? You don't have to pay taxes. You don't have to declare it to the government. You hide it. Yep. Okay. Five hundred million in cash offshore accounts, but a front for uber liberal polit political causes while smearing Christian conservatives. While smearing Christians. Who are against gay marriages. Go ahead. Its founder just fired, accused of, wait for it, racism. racism. Exactly what they're accusing us of is exactly Their what they have to get rid of the founder for. for. You see the hypocrisy? You see the lies? You see the guile? So the SPLC is no longer, or never was, a notable source. That's right. So claim to call somebody a hate group. We can go out of that now. That's done. Go to BBC News article now. The BBC News article, we had it up earlier, not the video with this demon on here. Get this flowery shirt and Get that monster off, the off there. Okay, hey, nobody's safe around him, bro. All y'all people that's in his circle, you a lot, because he like to move into people's house, y'all not safe. Okay? He's a vagabond. It's like Esau. BBC News. The murder of Joy Morgan. We're going to stop. We're going to start a uh, IUIC teachers. Go down. This video, now this article is pretty much a uh, written down, a written out, a transcript of the video, pretty much. Go to IUIC teaches. IUIC teaches that black people, Hispanics, and Native American people are God's chosen ones and are the descendants of the biblical 12 tribes of Israel. The organization spreads its message through videos posted on the internet. 
And over the years, churches have been set up in other parts of the world, including one in the UK. Yep. Go ahead. Its leaders teach classes on YouTube on topics such as why white people hate black people. True, we do. A strong marriage makes for a strong nation. What's wrong with that? And black people must leave the Christian church. But see, see, those, those these are threatening. These are threatening topics. That's them. right. So they posted them. This is what's so bad. Go ahead. <laughs> watch, watch what she says. I think, I think her sister's over this article. I think her sister wrote this article. Uh, and Jake wrote this article. Watch, watch what she says. And it's the slick videos and messages about uplifting black people, which initially attract people into the organization. Of it's course. the slick videos. Mm. A strong marriage makes for a strong nation. It's slick. A black people must leave the Christian church is slick. But let's see who's saying it. Let's see who's saying it. Keep going up. Let's keep up. Uh, going once up. again. Oh, there you go again. Once again. <laughs> once again. <laughs> once again. Go down. Uh, read on. Read on down to the face. And, yeah. and it's the slick video messages about uplifting black people, which initially attract people into the organization, according to former members. Defectors. Delinquents. Go ahead. In the beginning, it was a proud feeling. That's in the video. Go down. Get my yeah. blue waffles. Go down. Go down. Go down. Burnt waffle. Go down. Uh, uh, flowery shirt demon. Go down. Uh, I actually changed. You saw that in the video. We're going to start where it says, uh, so, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Go back up. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Right here, right there. So white people, right there. So white people, right here. So That's white uh, people and what they've done with slavery, for example, and other ways of oppressing black people are because they're the devil. That's true. Uh, it's like white people are genetically driven to destroy black people. That's true also. And that's the part that makes white people the devil in this interpretation. No, in this fact. Go ahead. Right. It's these views that have led the SPLC to label the organization as a black nationalist hate group and racist. But the SPLC <laughs> group is too. If their we leader, are, they are. The leader is. The leader is. The founder is. The founder is. Watch this. Watch. Watch they do. Watch. Remember, she's, she is their smear. She's a, she's a princess of darkness. Watch what she says. Princess of they are racist against white people. Watch this. Racist against Jews. We are Jews. Go ahead. And another part of this group which isn't discussed very much is that they're incredibly homophobic as well. For their reasons. For those reasons. For those reasons, anti-LGBT beliefs, anti-white beliefs, Anti-Semitic beliefs. We are Semitic. All of that together is the reason we list them. See? So now they're saying, oh, they hate homosexuals. So um, they're trying to paint us in a bad light with all this nonsense. And why would they're they showing put, the, 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 the scheme. Why would they put incredibly homophobic? What have we did to display that we're incredibly homophobic? Okay? We explain to people what the Bible says concerning that. We don't, we don't put that through our class. We don't teach that every single time. Go and search the list and see when was the last time we went into something like that. Because that's clear. All you got to do is read Leviticus 20, uh, and it explains to you uh, the law of sexual preference in there. That's not something we have to keep repeating to you over and over and over. But why was she put incredibly there? Because that's right. When y'all saw what the deacon was showing before with all this rainbow stuff, a lot of people are in that, yep. uh, that place of emotion for it, so she had to stick that there. Yep. Because it'll lead the people to say, what? I didn't know that. Let's really get them now. That's why she put that there. Yep. Jump Don't down. fall for the okie doke. Yep. Jump down to Gina remembers. Gina Waffles remembers. Right there. That's when she was with us in her right mind. Now she's in some other mind. Read that. Gina, Gina remembers being told to stand in front of the congregation in Las Vegas for having a piece of her hair outside of her head wrap. Now look at this picture here. All the women had their heads wrapped. Except her. And except her. And she's smiling. So why, why is she, she sad in this right. picture? You know, the, the nonsense, man, the things that she says let you lies. know that she's full retard. Lies. Full retard. And as I said before, y'all ain't never heard us teach that here. If there is a, somebody in one of the other schools that we don't know about, let us know if someone's you know, doing a, a, a head wrap check to see count how much of your hair is sticking out. We don't teach that there. Don't listen to these liars. None of you sisters have experienced that here. All, almost all y'all got your hair sticking out now. That's your preference. All we tell you is what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Any woman praying or prophesying, cover their head. We don't force you to keep to have a piece sticking out and attack you. Go ahead. Deacon. Go to uh, Ezekiel 35 regarding, the perpet regarding them being genetically disposed to hating black people. It's biblical. They do. Ezekiel 35 verse 2. Ezekiel 35 and verse 2. 
son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. That's Edom. Go ahead. And prophesy against it. Verse 5. Verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Out of what? Perpetual hatred. Perpetual means it's generational. It's passed down from father to son to father to son. The hatred is genetic. It is. From Cain until now. How about that? What verse is that? Verse 5? Yes, sir. Well, let me get there with you. I wasn't there with you. Uh, 35, verse 5. Then more on that verse. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Go to verse 11. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast Use out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. Watch this. The, the, the evil acts that whites have done against blacks today, were they done in 1960? Were they done in 1860? Were they done in 1760? Then it's perpetual. It's that simple. Go to a BBC video again, 812. That's fine. The Israelite, to be an Israelite and to be part of a, a community of, of believing Israelites, you, you don't you don't learn to hate people. You, you, you're supposed to have a, a, a higher understanding than to just hate people. IUIC dismisses Bezalel Ben Israel as a disgruntled ex-member. And Edom. It yes, we do. We, we dis dismiss him as a devil that the Bible, Bible speaks, speaks of. That's what we dismiss right. him as. It's Edom. Right. Okay. Go to, go to uh, the... Gospelcoalition.org. There's nothing new. Deacon Malachi went over this way back in the class. Went over this way back. I'm going to bring it up again regarding this smear campaign, regarding us being a hate group. This is regarded as intolerant haters. What's new? Load up some. How the Christians were acknowledged as haters, intolerant haters back then in ancient times. Now, I have books that explain this, but this article is short and simple to the point. For lack of time. Read that. In the, midst, in the midst of the high octane culture wars of the last several years, particularly the debate over homosexual marriage, evangelical Christians have been slapped with all sorts of pejorative labels. Words such as bigoted, arrogant, ex ex exclusive. Exclusive, keep that in mind. Dogmatic and homophobic. Ain't that been called earlier? Go ahead. Or just a few. The two labels particularly stand out. First, Christians are regularly regarded as intolerant. Yep. Christians are not only regarded as intolerant religiously because they affirm the words of Jesus that no one comes to the Father except through me, John chapter 14 and 6. But they are regarded as intolerant ethically because they refuse to approve any and all behaviors as morally good. Go ahead. Christians are also regu regularly and ironically regarded as haters. We are, they were regularly and ironically regarded as haters. Go ahead. Apparently, our modern world regards the acts of telling people they're wrong as a form of hatred. Yes, we're in that time now. Go ahead. It is never explained how the charges does not apply equally in the other direction since those who make this charge are telling Christians they are wrong. Go ahead. Needless to say... Such as a such a situation can discourage Christians in the modern day. Go down, go down, go down, get to the point. Just talking about your nonsense. Go down. Pla right there. Plenty, plenty the younger. Go ahead. This is what he's plenty, saying about us. Plenty the younger. Christians are intolerant. He, he, plenty was a governor, I believe, of Rome, I think. Go ahead. It is well known that in the Greco Roman world there was a pantheon of gods. Yeah, many gods. Go ahead. Every group had its own de de deities, and they were easily and naturally placed alongside other deities. For the most part, no one objected to the existence of other gods. It was a polytheistic world. Like it is today. Go ahead. Of course, the earliest Christians were as Go ahead. The earliest Christians were as monotheistic as their Jewish predecessors. Because the early Christians were Israelites. They were Jews. Go ahead. As their Jewish predecessors and quite unwilling to play along with the standard religious practices of Greco Roman culture. We didn't deal with that. Go ahead. For Roman rulers trying to keep the peace, Christian intolerance of other gods was a perennial frustration. Right, go ahead. Pliny, the younger, Roman governor of Bith I was right. Bith go ahead. Bithynia, writing in uh, Arcea 111 and 113, expressed his frustration over the fact. That Christians would not invoke the gods. You won't accept the gods. Go ahead. In a letter to Emperor Trajan, 
he lamented their stubbornness and unyielding obstin obstinacy. In other words, he was angry over their intolerance. We didn't accept other gods. Christmas, New Year's, Halloween, we didn't deal with that. He wasn't down with that nonsense. And they said we were intolerant. Go ahead. Why was Pliny so bothered? Because the influence of the Christians had caused the pagan temples to be deserted, uh -huh. and thus very few purchasers could be found for the sacrificial animals. We emptied out the churches. That's why they were mad. People stopped going to their temples to worship pagan gods and start converting to the doctrine of Christ. Go ahead, watch this. In other words, in other words, they were losing money. That's why I said earlier in the video, and it said BBC, it says black people should leave the Christian church. It's the same thing here. Go ahead. To fix the problem, Pliny decided to force Christians to worship the pagan gods and curse Christ. And if they refused, they were put to death. Uh -huh. He says, as I am informed that people who are really Christians cannot possibly be made to do any of those things. Go ahead. It is interesting to note that Pliny, while torturing these Christians, he was killing us. Go ahead. acknowledged their high moral standards. So while killing us, he said, these guys got some morals mm -hmm. while killing us. Go ahead. Christians bind themselves by oath. Not to, not to some crime, but not to commit fraud, theft, or like, adultery. Like, like unemployment fraud. We don't do that. Go mm. ahead. Theft or adultery. Nor falsify their trust, nor to refuse to return a trust when called upon to do so. Go ahead. Apparently, intolerance of the Roman gods was enough for a reason to kill Christians despite their holy lives. Go down, King. This is Emperor Nero. Watch what he says. Nero. Mm hmm Christians are haters. Christians are haters. Go ahead. In the late first century, the Roman emperor Nero made himself famous for his persecution of Christians. The mm -hmm. Roman historian Tacticus tell us that under Nero, mockery of every sort was added to their Christian death. Covered with the skins of beasts, they were torn by dogs and perished or were nailed to crosses mm -hmm. or were doomed to the flames and burnt Front alive. to serve as a night a nightly illumination when daylight had expired. Nero offered his gardens for the spectacle as exhibiting a show in the circus. Setting us on fire. That was his entertainment. Go ahead. So what awful crimes did Christians commit to warrant such unthinkable torture? Watch this. Tacticus acknowledged that Christians weren't really guilty of the trumped up charges. Of the what? The trumped up charges. Propaganda. Of mm -hmm. Go ahead. Of setting fire to the city. Because Nero did it. Go ahead. Instead, he admits they were killed for hatred against mankind. You see this? Do you see this? We're reliving this over and over again. They were labeled haters of mankind. Sound familiar? That's all I want. That's all I want. You gotta read it on your own, an article on your own. Hey, some, you got some brothers trying to be loved by everybody. Yep. And they're you gonna know, die some, being loved. They're some of you all trying to be loved by everybody. But, let me tell you all something. You are a follower of Christ. Christ said the servant is not greater than the master. That's right. Christ said they hate me, they're going to hate you. That's right. So we understand what we are in. We ain't here to be loved by everybody. We conk the course. When you all talk smack about us, this campaign that's being pushed to, to, um, to mess with our character and so forth, you know, that we understand these things going to happen. You know, it doesn't phase us. You know, we ain't confused. Like, oh, what's going on? Why? Why? <laughs> they saying we evil. You know, they, they, you know, they, they put in, they, you know, we, it doesn't, it does not phase us, man. Because we know what we in. You know, from a young, from a young brother in this truth, Bishop been mauling us. Mauling me, mauling all of us. So this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. You know, when it starts to happen. It's happening. You know what I mean? You got BBC Muse doing smear campaign against us. You understand? A sister died that we cared about. Well, went missing, sorry. Went missing that we cared about. You know what I mean? And a brother that was amongst us is charged with the murder. BBC News, they run with that to try to smear the organization. But the, yeah. You notice the video is not really about her disappearance. Exactly. The video is really about us. You got. It, it, that's the front. That whole thing. Her, her missing is a front to smear us. That's all it really is. And, and, and even in the midst of smearing us, they're bigging us up. I'm going to show you later. I'm going to show you, you as it goes on. You got. What is the video? Like 37 minutes? Yeah, I'm not going through the whole thing. Though. Seven of those minutes, minutes is about yeah. her death. 30 is about IUIC. Yeah, seven minutes see how is fake her death. They are? Yep. You see how fake they are? 
They don't care about what's It's the same thing with you fake camps also. The only reason why you had a voice is because you felt that you could bring forth our demise. And as I said before, the same ones that's trying to join on the bandwagon to bring us down or hate us so much, it's, they think in their head, okay, once IUIC falls, we're going to rise to the top. Yes, yes. You, you, you guys are, you, you, you're, you're, you're exposing your own selves for how stupid you are. You don't make no sense, man. You, you, you're joining in to attack us thinking that BBC is going to leave you alone and you're going to rise to the top. And you're going to, you, 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 you're bragging now you're home of the truth. You've been here since the 1960s. And these are your tactics to make yourself relevant. You should be ashamed of yourself, man. You should be ashamed. And anybody listening to them, you should be ashamed of yourself also. Mm -hmm. The first Maccabees 227. First Maccabees 227. First Maccabees chapter 2, verse 27. And Matthias cried throughout the city with a loud voice, saying, Whosoever is zealous of the law and maintaineth the covenant, let him follow me. So Matthias at this point started his own organization. That's what he did. He started his own organization. Those who want to follow the law, you follow me. Now, jump to verse 42. Let's then see who joins him. Then came there unto him a company of Assyrians. Who later on became a Pharisees. Later on, Assyrians. Go ahead. Who were mighty men of Israel, even all, even all such as were voluntarily devoted unto the law. Had the same mindset as Mattathias and his sons. Go ahead. And also all they that fled for persecution joined themselves unto them and were a stay unto them. He got more members. Mattathias got more members. His organization. Read the next verse. Watch this. So they joined their forces. The Assyrians and Mattathias and those who want to come, those who are um, under persecution, they joined their forces. Watch this. And smote sinful men in their anger. And wicked men in their wrath. We killed our own, who were sinful and wicked as hell. And the heathens. Go ahead. But the rest fled to the heathen for succor. They what? The rest fled to the heathen for succor. The rest had fled to who? The heathen for succor. Look up succor, please. The rest fled to the heathen for succor. What's succor mean? Probably a Negro word we use. Nope. The rest who went away from the organization of Matthias, went to the heathen for succor. Read that, please. Succor. Assistance and support in times of hardship and distress. Click more, please. Aid, help, a helping hand, assistance, ministration, comfort, ease, relief, support, guidance, backing, rare, easement. So what I'm showing you is that these people that left, Particularly that bastard with the flowery shirt had an issue with Kanai. And, I, and so when he realized he couldn't get his way with his issue with that man and didn't deal with it, Matthew 18 properly, he turned against us and decided to put his backing on YouTube. The media was his backing. Then when that didn't work, he saw that failed. He runs to BBC now. Go back, please. Go back to the core so again. Go back to it again. Yeah, but there's know. more than that. As I mentioned this earlier about the little video. Go down to... Uh, click, um, aid. Aid, click aid. No, go up, yeah, click, that's fine. Whatever, different one. Aid. What's aid mean? Go down. Aid. Help, typically of a practical nurture. Go down to synonyms. Financial. Financial, what does it say down the bottom? It says financial or material help given to a country or area in need. Synonyms, synonyms. Funding. Nope, Con skip something. Oh, assistance, support, help, backing, evidence, encouragement, cooperation, succor. Next synonyms. Next one. Donations. Donations. Funding. Stop. Donations. Funding. Contributions. Subsidies. Subsidies. Benefits. Welfare. Gifts. Grants. Like, for example, I don't know, if you are unemployment fraud, you get a pass. That's a grant or a gift. Money is what I'm talking about. Aid. That's what the heathen ran to the heathen. That's what Jake ran to the heathen for. Comfort, whether it be money or backing to do evil. That's what they were doing. There's an incentive. Thank you. There's an incentive. There's a motive. You understand? So I showed you earlier. It says, what, what did an informant do? An informant's motive usually is revenge. I showed you that last time I taught. Yes. 
Revenge is the incentive. Go down. Let's go back. I'm going to show you. Go to 1 Maccabees 7 verse 5. I said it earlier, and I'll say it again. Negroes are worse than Esau. They lack the power to be so. That's the only difference. 1 Maccabees 7 and verse 5. Watch this. This is a man named Alchemist. This guy makes Jason look like, like a righteous man. 1 Maccabees 7 and verse 5. There came unto him all the wicked and ungodly men of Israel. There came to him who? The wicked and ungodly men of Israel. So there came to him all the wicked and ungodly men of Israel. Go ahead. Go ahead. Having alchemists. Who was what? Who was desirous to be high priests for their captain. Always want position. Always want rank. Want, he want position. That's what he wanted. And all the evil Negroes flocked to him. Just like Absalom, they flocked to him. Just like Korah, they flocked to him. Same thing today. The wicked want, want power and authority, or the wicked flock to them. And they're on Facebook, silent as church mice, not doing anything. Go to, jump to verse 21. But alchemists contended for the high priesthood. He contended for the high priesthood, which didn't belong to him. Go ahead. And unto him resorted all such as troubled the people, who after they had gotten the land of Judah into their power, did much hurt in Israel. Referring to the heathen. He went to the heathen. Go ahead. Now when Judah saw all the mischief that Alchemist and his company had done among the Israelites. Watch this. Even above the heathen. Even what? Above the heathen. He did evil above the heathen. Alchemists, our own people, did worse to us than the nations. And that's what we're seeing now. Okay? Like we saw in the school. Well, well, Alchemist is Jake. I'm telling you, that guy, I don't know what That's what we're seeing now from a, this guy who claims to be a part of Northern Kingdom. Okay? The, the, that's why I said stop making a black and white thing. It's a right or wrong thing. Right. This guy is evil, man. Go to 1121. 1121. Yeah, you'll notice that the scripture said these men were evil men. Ungodly, yeah, ungodly yeah. men. They love sin. That's why they go to the nation, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, 1121. First Maccabees 11, verse 21. Then certain ungodly persons who hated their own people went unto the king. Went to the heathen. Go ahead. And told him that Jonathan besieged the tower. And spoke against their own brother Jonathan. Sound familiar? Yes, it does. All over again. 2 Maccabees 10, verse 15. Nothing and no one knew under the sun. Shame on demons. 2 Maccabees 10, verse 15. Second Maccabees chapter 10, verse 15. And, where, and therewithal, the Idumeans, having gotten into their hands the most commodious holds, kept the Jews occupied, and receiving those that were banished from Jerusalem, they went about to nourish war. So the Idumeans had possessions, and they even went as far as receiving our own people who were banished from our city. Our own criminals. They, 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 they took, looked after them. Go ahead, watch this. Idumeans, watch this. Then they that... They went to, so our people, our people ran to white folks. Again. Go ahead. Then they, were, then they that were... With Maccabeus made supplication and besought God that he would be their helper. And so they ran with violence upon the strongholds of the Idumeans. Go ahead. And assaulting them strongly, they won the holes and kept off all that fought upon the wall. And slew all that fell into their hands and killed no fewer than 20,000. Go ahead. And because certain who were no less than 9,000 were fled together into two very strong cities, having all manner oh, of... Strong castles. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Castles having all manner of things convenient to sustain the siege. Maccabeus left Simon and Joseph and Zacchaeus also, and them that were with them, who were enough to besiege them, and departed himself into unto those places which which more needed his help. So we were winning the siege. We were, we were, win we were winning the siege. Just, um, Jewish said, okay, you guys got you guys got it from here. I'm gonna go take care of business somewhere else. Go ahead, watch this. Now they that were with Simon. So these he so these heathens they fled into two castles. All right, trying to flee from, Mac, from the Maccabees. They fled into two castles. Watch this. He left behind Simon and Joseph and Zacchaeus also that were with him. Go ahead, watch this. Verse 20. Now they that were with Simon. Those of Simon's men. 
Being Simon's man, go ahead. Being led with covetousness. Being what? Led with covetousness. Being led with covetousness. Go ahead. Were persuaded for money. Were what? Were persuaded for money. Go ahead. Through certain of those that were in the castle. So the Edomites said, like, listen, man, I got money. If you don't attack us, I'll pay you off. Go ahead, watch this. And took 70,000 drachms. They got paid 70,000 drachms. Go ahead. And let some of them escape. And we let some Edomites escape. Go ahead. But when it was told Maccabeus what was done, he called the governors of the people together. Go ahead. And accused those men that, that they had sold their brethren for money. That they did what? They had sold their brethren for money. That they sold their brothers out for money. Like that, like, like some of y'all do on Facebook now. Go ahead. And set their enemies free to fight against them. And those enemies that we let go for 70,000 drachms came back and fought us. Go ahead. So he slew those that were found traitors. What did Maccabees do? So he slew those that were found traitors and immediately took the two castles. We killed traitors in the Bible. They got put to death back then. Traitors didn't live amongst us. They got put to death back then. Go to Proverbs 26 to 24. The Most High going to deal with you now, not us. Lord going to deal with you. Proverbs 26, 24. Asa brought this out Friday. Proverbs 26, verse 24. He that hateth dissembleth with his lips uh -huh. and layeth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, believe him not. But there are seven abominations in his heart. He speaks fair. Oh, we can't hate. We have to love. We can't be full of hatred. Don't listen to him. Don't believe that. It's all, it's all a con. It's a show. Go ahead. Whose hatred is covered by deceit. Whose hatred is what? Covered by deceit. By saying that of all the groups, we're a hate group. That's hatred covered by deceit. Go ahead. His wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. On the screens. Go ahead. We're seeing it now. Go ahead. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein. And he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. If you do to us, it's going to fall back on you is what he's mm. saying. Go ahead. Watch the next verse a regarding a hater, a brother that's full of age. Watch this. A lying yeah. tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it. Read it again. A lying tongue hates those that are afflicted by a it. A lying tongue hates those who it's used against. So you're a hater. You are a hater. Go ahead. And a flattering mouth worketh ruin. So get Sirach um, 27, verse 22. Sirach 27, 22. Sirach Ecclesiasticus, chapter 27, verse 22. He that winketh with his eyes worketh evil. You can't mean he's, he tried to get, gain your trust. Don't believe him. Go ahead. And he that knoweth him will depart from him. Go ahead. When thou art present, he will speak sweetly. You know, he's around you. He'll speak kind words to you. Go ahead. He will admire thy words. And, and, take, and take notes and, and, wa and watch the classes. Admire the words. Go ahead. But at the last. But in the end. He will writh his mouth. He will alter his speech, twist his mouth. Go ahead. And slander thy sayings. And slander all he learned from you. And say you're a teacher of hate. After he learned sat all his notes. All your all his notes in his Bible are from your classes. Now you're a hate group coming out of his mouth. That makes sense. No, sir. Go ahead. I have hated many things. What did Sirach say? What did the prophet say? I have hated many things. The prophet said, I, I have hated many things. Go ahead. But nothing like him. But nothing like him. Go ahead. For the Lord will hate him. The Lord will hate you for being that way. Next verses. Whoso casteth a stone on high, casteth it on his own head, and a deceitful stroke shall make wounds. Go ahead. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that setteth a trap shall be taken therein. You're going to fall on your own um, devices. Go ahead. He that work of mischief, it shall fall upon him. Go ahead. And he, sh and he shall not know whence it cometh. You ain't going to know when it's going to happen, but you're going to fall. Best believe it. You will fall for the actions that you've done. Get, go back to the video again, 905 to 940. She became to separate herself from her family, which was important to her, because I know Joy loves her family. The teachings of the church 
which I'm not too clear on. I'm not going to go into all of them like I know it all, but just it just seems like a cult and she just got swept away in it. I've been in bed at two o'clock at night. She'd actually wait up to hear the man's talking in America. Now, when you're listening to someone speak, but it just sounds so harsh. Exactly. These people are stupid. These are, <laughs> these are strategies and tactics to keep us from the mission. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it, Ace. I had to do it, man. I had to do it. I had to do it. Go to Isaiah 58, verse 1. You people are stupid. <laughs> Isaiah 58, verse 1. And that came from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> With all sincerity. The Negro is the dumbest thing walking the face of the it earth really right is. now. Really They're is. easily manipulated and they hate their own selves. You're stupid. Isaiah 58, verse 1. We read this all the time. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, uh -huh. and show my people their transgressions. And show my people their transgressions. So spare not, cry aloud. People don't want to hear that. Oh, you guys are rough. Oh, it's harsh. Our forefathers are the same way. They spoke rough. They didn't play games with the people. Go to Titus 2.15. No, no, we don't. Finish the verse. Finish the verse. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, uh -huh. and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Go to Titus 2.15. Titus 2, the last verse. How are we to speak? The Bible commands us on how to speak. Is it soft and gentle and cuddly? Titus 2.15. That's people want us to talk. Oh, please, please keep the, keep the commandments. Can you please keep the commandments? Is it, uh, you, you sure? No? Okay, I'm sorry. They don't teach like that. Hey, that's why I said you people are stupid. That's what y'all want to hear. And the Lord said, blessed be everyone yep. who walks according to what the Bible has given <laughs> us this day. That's what y'all want to hear. Yeah. That's what y'all like. Yep. With the conditions you're in, that's not helping you. It really isn't. Titus 2, got the last verse? Titus 2, 15. Yep, that's it. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. These things speak Exhort and rebuke with all authority. The word rebuke means harsh criticism. That's what rebuke means by definition. Harsh, corrective criticism. That's what it means. With all authority means force, not soft and gentle. So that's Old Testament, New Testament. Go to 950 now. We're going to go to 11, 952 or 11 minutes. She was getting more and more into it. And when she was getting more and more into it, she became more vocal with some things that wasn't nice. Yeah. What kind of things? A white devil. Her, our whole family's mixed. You know, her sisters are mixed. Her, you know, her stepdad is white. I'm white. She's got other members of the family that are white. And she's an open-minded person. Well... Because like in the Israelite church, you can't be Israelite if, you're, if your father's a white man. So she would like be like to my little sister, you're a white devil. And it was like, whoa, what's happened to Joy? And then that's when she became more distant. Like It's like she hardly spoke to me and stuff. I mean, some people might hear and go, oh, it sounds like Joy. Now, we're not in her house to know if she was doing those things. That's right. We don't know for certain if she, yeah. was, doing, if she was doing those things. We did not condone okay, that. Thank you. We did not condone that at all. If she was doing that, now they may have been doing things or saying things to provoke her to say, you're the devil, the Bible speaks of. Right. And you're white anyway, so you are definitely the devil. Right. And, and but also, we don't know if he wasn't there. We don't know. Lord knoweth. And also, in my class, I get that question all the time. What do I do if uh, a family member, if uh, uh, a, a parent, because there's a lot of uh, people with us that they are, they're, pa they're in mixed relationships where their mother is an Edomite. What's my response every time? Do, I, do you ever hear me tell anybody, go home and disrespect your mother? Y'all never ever, they can search through every single video. We don't teach that. They're lying. I tell you, all of you, to be respectful in your house. Don't disrespect nobody. When you go to the workplace, don't disrespect nobody. They're lying. We don't teach that, but guess what? There are Edomite camps that teach their people, they brag that they boast that they do that. So understand. A lot of times before people come to us, they'll watch other groups and they'll bring that mentality here. We don't teach that. 
There's none of you who can ever say that we told you go home and disrespect a sibling or a family member or people at the workplace that's of a nationality. The Bible says, as if possible, as much as lieth in you, to do what? Peace Be at peace, peace with all, all men. men. Okay? So that part right there, like Deacon Don said, we don't know. I don't know if she was doing it. If she was doing it, I don't know where she got it from or why she was saying it. But right. don't fall for the lies. Go ahead. I mean, some people might hear and go, it sounds like Joy was a bit racist. Oh, I blatantly called my daughter racist. I ain't saying that. I never called her that. Oh, yeah, I did. I said the religion that she's got is racism. Joy was 17 when she joined that church. And everyone knows when you're 17, you're basically still a kid. You still can be influenced by all kinds of things. I said, enough, enough, enough now. You need to stop that rubbish. No, 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 you need to stop that rubbish. So she got mad, her mom got mad, and that's when she, le she left, she moved out, whatever. Go to um, 12.05. So they're arguing about her separating herself from her family, separating herself, well, 12.05. It's not for her, she's too good. She's too helpful and kind. But two former members of IUIC London who knew Joy say her dedication to the church. Pause. These sisters here, Jael, both of them, trying to hide themselves, you demonic woman. There's no, no Adiah, no Adiah the second. Jael and Jael. One of them was the one that sat in the courtroom and said, this is the background, the, 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 they sit over here, this is the ranking system over here, that's the dark one on that side. This one right here is a fornicator right here, the one's a fornicator, messed with the guy that left the congregation, she was still screwing him. That one right there bugged out of her mind. But the one on the, one on the other side here went to the courthouse, sat in the stand and said, the ranking system is this. The, the officers are 50, they stand over there, they stand, the whole Fred Hampton thing. That's Wilma O'Neill, that's who she is. William O'Neill, the guy that got Fred Hampton killed, the whole setup in his house, she did the exact, and she says, oh yeah, and by the, in the audience is Captain Isaac right there, Captain Isaac's right there, him right there, in the courtroom, him right there. That's, her, that's why they're hiding themselves. Because they're ashamed of themselves. Hey, is the, what, did one of them go in there and say that we told the woman to call us master? No, I ain't, don't, I'm not sure if that's them. It's not them? I'm not sure if that's them. I've I'm not sure heard that's that. Them. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's them, but Captain I know that. Isaac, if you could confirm it, one of them was saying that we told the woman to call us master. I don't think that was them, but he'll, he'll let you know. He'll tell you. But those are the ones that sat there. She said, oh, that's Isaac in the back right there. So the courtroom's looking like, okay. So she's just spilling all our information out, all of it, all on the stand. None of, that has, none of that has anything to do with Joyce's appearance. Exactly. So that's how you know there's something going on. There's some conspiring going on. Because there's no sense to sit there and give a whole layout of the school's ranking system, the layout, the security. For what? Unless she was killed in the church. Right. She if was you killed could in the prove school. she was killed in the church, right. say those things. Right. Okay? But what is the purpose of going into all those details for? It makes no sense. Right. Go ahead. Play the video play. Let the traders play. Let the traders um, play. It was clear. We've agreed not to show their faces. Joy was sweet. Um, she was naive, bubbly, just a typical teenager, really. She was very loyal to IUIC, extremely loyal. She wouldn't be the sort of person that you could raise any concerns or worries about the congregation to her. She was faithful, like blindly faithful. It divided her from us because it made her seem like that they were there for her when we couldn't be there for her well I couldn't be there for her because I put her out at 18 because I said enough I'm not having every day every single day is about the same thing it's about hate you are not allowed to make friends outside of this you're not supposed to hang out with people outside of the group you're supposed to marry in the group. In other words, you are to transfer your allegiance to from whatever you had before, whether it's family or friends, to this organization and this organization only. And this is one of the things that makes Israel United in Christ be, you know, seem to be very cult-like. I'm not surprised at all to hear that she was estranged from her family and that and that this was very problematic. Because when you sign on with these people, you are in that group and you are no longer a part of whatever network, social network you had before. Right there. Go to Matthew 10, 35. Y'all's carrying that and y'all in awe. Do we check any of who you hang out with when you leave here? Do we ask you who y'all with in your house? You, you see the lies? You see how they blatantly lying? Now, I just want to clear up. I just got a text 
It wasn't the sister it on there. He said it was an ex-member that went up there. He was in the courtroom, and he did hear one of those ex-members. That's what they were doing. They were calling a lot of ex-members, and one girl went up there and said that we told the woman to call us master. Why do they have to sensationalize it that way, or they have to be coerced to, to say those things to make you think that we're controlling the people? Okay, half the time I'm telling y'all, stay out my face. Serve the Lord and that's it. I'm not in your personal lives like that. So what are they? Liars. Read on. Matthew 10, 35. Matthew 10, verse 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. So Christ is telling you that his doctrine will bring about division in the households, in the righteous and the wicked. Read on. He that love a father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. If you put your parents who are wicked before me, you're not worthy of me. Go ahead. And he that love a son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Your children before me, you're not worthy of me. Go ahead. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Your cross is losing that wicked family, losing them. Go ahead. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. So those in, this, so in, your, in your life you lose, you're going to lose friends, family, and so forth based <laughs> upon righteousness. And, and, go ahead, Do you, go ahead. you see how hypocritical they are? Y'all got to laugh. Where is this written, what we're reading? Where in the Bible? Most churches only deal with what? You're telling me all the Christian churches miss this right here? It's in the very beginning. It's in the first book. It's in the beginning. What are you learning in the Christian? We didn't write this. This is in all the Christian churches. People are going to go to church Sunday. It's there. You tell me the pastor never ever reads this in church? It just mysteriously came out when we came together? That makes no sense. That's to show you the hypocrisy and the lies and how the churches are teaching garbage. He just read something that was written in a book before any of us were even born. Mm -hmm. And because we're following what the Bible says, oh, they're teaching hate. It wasn't hate when they had it. It's sitting in the city. It should be removed from every church. Take the book out of every church. But because we bring the book to life and we teach it and instill what's there, now you're the bad guys. So what does that show you about the people in these religious organizations? They fake. They're fake. Even you Israelite camps, you fake also. Okay, because you don't you don't apply you don't apply the things that are written in the book for the rebuilding of your nation for the brotherhood of your nation. You pick and choose what you want to get gain the advantage and momentum over the people, and that's what they're trying to say about us now. Go ahead. Matthew nineteen verse twenty seven. Matthew nineteen twenty seven. Go a little faster, Leah. Yes, sir. Matthew nineteen and verse twenty seven. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all. We have forsaken all. Go ahead. And follow thee. And followed you. Go ahead. What shall we have therefore? What do we get for forsaking all and, giving, and, and following you? Go ahead. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have follow me in the regeneration. In the kingdom. The, go ahead. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne is, in his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. You'll be rulers. Watch this, 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses of brothers. Those horns, stop. The disciples said, we've forsaken all to follow you. What do we get in return? He goes, well, for you forsaking houses, well, see, that's what they, forsake means get rid of, right. remove from. So they, some, some who had more than one house gave some houses away to those who needed a house. What, read again? And everyone that had forsaken houses. Houses. Brethren. Their brothers. Or sisters. They forsook their sisters. Or father. They, for, they forsook their what? Father, they forsook their father or mother, forsook their mother or wife. They forsook their wives, lost their wives or children, lost their children or lands. They lost, they gave away their lands for my name's sake. For my name's sake, go ahead. Shall receive an hundredfold. They'll get a hundredfold those things they lost. Go ahead and shall inherit everlasting life and be immortal. So our forefathers, the disciples, and the disciples of the disciples lost many things, all for His name's sake. They forsook mother, father, son, daughter, brother, land, houses for his sake. So Christ is Christ saying, follow me, you're going to lose people. You're going to lose family, friends, mothers, fathers, children, wives. You're going to, husbands, you're going to lose. Yeah, the reason uh, you see these people like Dick and Asaph said, the reason you see they go to the media, 
they're trying to touch people's emotion. Yes. You yes. understand? They're trying to deal with people's emotion or their feeling. But the Bible is a clear book. What we just read about, Christ said, for my name's sake, you're going to lose all that. You understand? But when you see them come in the media, the way they say, oh, D, uh, uh, IUIC, uh, uh, tell me, leave my family. You dummy, that Bible said, if they're wicked, you bail out. <laughs> That's common sense. So they're using people's emotion to deal with their people's emotion. They're going to dumb people with their some emotion. Oh, what kind of uh, organization they will tell you, leave your family? Listen, Christ said, Christ said, if you're going to follow me, you got to be ready for anything can go down. But if you go down, you have the, yeah, I heard a sister said, uh, you see force her to wear fringes. <laughs> That's not dumb. These people are dumb, man. <laughs> That's so crazy. Put back their pants. Be the hoe you was. Straight up. Because guess what? IUIC has changed the spirit of the hoe to be a woman. IUIC is changing a, a spirit of a pimp to be a man. You understand? That's why we are about changing. You understand, sister? We're not teaching you to go back to your hold'em. We're teaching you how to be a sister. Then you refuse it, guess what? That's on you. But don't try to lie. Don't try to lie. Don't lie. Period. Don't lie. Go to 1 Peter 4, verse 3. 1 Peter 4, verse 3. I'm going to skip these for lack of time. 1 Peter 4, verse 3. First Peter chapter 4 and verse 3. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. At one point in time, we, the, we, we, we followed the will of the Gentiles. Go ahead. When we walked in lasciviousness. Lust. Lust. Walked. Walked in lasciviousness. Lust. Excess of wine. Revelings. Banqueting. And abominable idolatry. Verse 4. Watch this. Wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess or riot. Speaking evil of you. So when you stop doing those things, people start to speak evil of you. Who? Mother, father, brethren, friends, family. You start to lose people because you change. As you change, they're going to start to hate you. Now you're in a cult. Now you're being brainwashed. Now you're crazy because you're not found behind them who follow the world of the Gentiles. That's what happens. It's 2 Corinthians 6.14. I'm not going to skip it. 2 Corinthians 6.14. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14. Here's what happened. Well, here's what happened, excuse me. Second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Yeah. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? None. And what communion have light with darkness? None. And what concord of Christ with Belial? With the devil. None. Go ahead. Or what part hath he that belongeth? Believe he it. that believeth. Believeth with an infidel. With an unbeliever. Nothing. Go ahead. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. Verse 17. Watch we this. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Saith IUIC. Saith the Lord. Be ye separate, saith the Lord. I didn't write this. It said that the letter of Ithan, the letter of Paul. Yep. Be ye separate. And you gotta go ahead. Go ahead. ahead. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, go ahead. and touch not the unclean thing. That unclean thing could be your mother, your father's ways, your brother's ways, your sister's ways, your husband's ways, your wife's ways, your children's ways. Don't touch the unclean thing. Or the heathen's ways, the heathen wife's ways, heathen spouse's ways. Separate yourself from those things. The Bible brings about Separation between the righteous and the wicked. And the wicked don't like the righteous being separated from them. They want to seduce the righteous, seduce the wicked. Let me tell you something. In case this ever comes up again and we ever find ourselves in a situation like this. And I'm not there to speak or Deacon Aitana is not there to speak. And you guys have to defend yourself. I'm saying for me, from my own experience, when I first learned this, and people questioned me because they never heard it before. You know what they would ask me? Who are you listening to? At that time, there was no internet. There was nothing. There was no YouTube for you to go and search. So guess what I had to do different from what a lot of you guys, the luxury you had. You had to just click a video and send somebody. I didn't have that. So if I said or I quoted a scripture, you know what I had to do? Deacon Donald told you, I'll walk with two Bibles. 
Because whatever I'm going to tell you, I'm giving you another Bible for you to read it. So you can never, ever say, somebody put this in my head. Ask yep. anybody who I came across. Yep. I always walk with two Bibles yep. because I know that the people I'm encountering, they're ungodly and they don't read. And they're going to challenge me. That's why I never lose. When I put that Bible in your hand and I let you read it and I tell you, forget about the pastor. Forget about who I learned from. You tell me right there what that says. You know how they look? Stupid. You know what they do? Hate me. Okay? So I'm just saying, I'm just saying I'm not attacking nobody. If it was me and my child came home telling me that stuff, you know what I'm going to tell them? Show me what you read and I want to hear it. I want to. Don't tell me about those people. I want to see what you're talking about, where you're getting this from. That's what a loving parent, a loving father, a loving family member will do. I see my child is being indoctrinated to that point. I want to connect with them. I want to reach them. I'm not going to condemn them and shut them down. I want to pull them back. I want my relationship that's being broken. So I'm going to say, let's get your Bible. Let's sit down. Let's read. Does that make sense to you? Does that make sense to you? So tell the people online, the real cult, the real liars, the real haters are them. You don't do that to people that you hate. Okay, you don't dismiss people you hate. You try to reach them. You try to connect with them. You try to talk with them. You try to reason with them. So before y'all come and try to twist and point finger and say this and say that, check your spirit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, DJ. Exodus 18, verse 1. Real quick, Exodus 18, verse 1. Exodus chapter 18, verse 1. Mm -hmm. When Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father, in law heard all that heard of all that God had done for Moses and for Israel his people and that the Lord had brought Israel out of Egypt so Jephthah the priest of Midian this is Moses father-in-law Moses wife was a heathen Moses father-in-law was a heathen he was Ethiopian but he was a priest of Midian there's a reason why this is emphasized he was a priest of the Midianites go to verse um 13. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses sat to judge the people. And the people stood by Moses even from the morning until the evening. So all, pretty much all day, 12 hours, Moses judged people for hours. Go ahead. And when Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did to the people, he said, What is this thing that thou doest to the people? Why sittest thou thyself alone, and all the people stand by thee from morning unto evening? Go ahead. And Moses said unto his father-in-law, Because the people come unto me to inquire of God. Go ahead. When they have a matter, they come unto me, and I judge between one and another. And I do make them know the statutes of God and his laws. Go ahead. And Moses' father-in-law said unto him, The thing that thou doest is not good. Thou wilt surely wear away both thou and this people that is with thee. But this thing is too heavy for thee. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. Go ahead. Hearken now unto my voice. I will give thee counsel, and God shall be with thee. Be thou for the people to Godward, that thou mayest bring the causes unto God. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws, and shalt show them the way wherein they, they must walk and the work that they must do. Jump to verse 12. I missed the part. Verse 12. And Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took a burnt offering and sacrifices for God. And Aaron came and all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law before God. So Jethro, his father-in-law, heathen, Aaron and Moses had dinner together. And he gave Moses advice. Listen, I'm a priest. What you're doing is rough. You're, gonna be, you're being hard on yourself. You need help doing all these people like this. So he gave him advice. You read the rest of the chapter, he gave Moses advice on how to deal with the people, how to distribute the, the burden of judging matters. A heathen. He didn't say... You a Hamite, man. Get out of here, you dumb Hamite. Get out of right. here. Listen to you. Right. He didn't dismiss him. He sat down with his father-in-law, ate dinner with his brother. They ate dinner. He said, yeah, listen, man, you're putting too much on yourself. Why don't you, you know, do A, B, and C? And Moses said, right. And that worked out for him. Jump to verse 27 now. And Moses let his father-in-law depart. And Moses' father finally moved on on his way. Go ahead. And he went his way into his own and land. And he left. He went back to his land. He didn't stay around with him. He said, here's my advice to you. All right, son-in-law, good, have a li good life. I right, went back to his home. So uh, for we, we were at peace with the heathen. Moses had peace with his father-in-law. His father-in-law was a heathen. He wasn't disrespectful. You stupid Hamite, dumb, he, he wasn't like that. You understand? 
David wasn't disrespectful. I'm pretty sure to his, his um, grand, well, his, not my grandma, but um, uh, what's his name? Abed, Ruth. You don't read about him disrespecting Ruth. Right. When you read she the was book a, of Ruth. Ruth was a Ruth was a Moabite. You David's don't read grandmother, about I believe, was a Moabite. A great-grandmother right. was a Moabite. Right. He didn't say, my God, heathen grandmother, a damn demon. He didn't say all of that. Who so talk like that? Who, who, let's just keep, who, who talk like that? Stupid, unlearned Hebrew Israelites. You do have stupid, unlearned Hebrew Israelites that solidify the claims of the people that's trying to attack us right now. So at the same time, we got to deal with the attacks. We got to deal with these stupid, unlearned black Hebrew Israelites. Right. Go to 1432. I'm going to run through it fast. 1432. Now it's mostly video now. 1432. No longer a part of whatever network, social network you had before. It's absolutely, absolutely not true. It's a lie. Um, right now, as I'm speaking, my beloved mother is here. She, she came down from New York. This is one of the church leaders talking to us in August. I would have her come into the screen, but I don't want to, you know, put her face out there like that. Um, but she is here. I never cut ties with her at all, although we have different beliefs. Now, what we do teach is don't follow the ways of your family members who might be walking contrary to what God says. Your family's in the world. They're, they're of the devil because they don't know who they are. They're lost. This is what they teach us. So basically cut them off or you're not going to heaven. IUIC is... See, they did. So Isaac right there showed that poop, we don't tell you go away from your family. But his mom was there. She's an unbeliever. His mom was in the house. Then they cut that part to burnt, burnt waffle. Oh, yeah, you won't go to heaven because your family's the devil. It's, they're playing. It, it's, it's hypocrisy. That's right. Because a, a higher official ranking officer has an Ex unbelieving mom, mom in the house who don't believe. He's like, no, that's a lie. Exactly. And they spoke, he spoke to them, and they still put that video of, of that nonsense woman up there. That's why, Regardless. That's why I declined to do an interview with them. Right, because they're liars. They asked, because I knew... That no matter what we said, they're going to try and find people to speak against what we say because at the end there's an agenda. The media is not focused on real truth. They're going to push fake news. That's right. why that's popular. Y'all can be mad at Trump all y'all want, but guess what the man is right about? Fake news. Keep going now. Keep going. IUIC is my family and, like, the best family that I've ever had. That's it, really. In the days before Joe went missing, she'd been invited to a family party. Her auntie was doing a little, little Christmas thing after Christmas, and she was inviting the family down. So I was trying to talk her into coming, just for a little, because like, she doesn't believe in Christmas. I was saying to her, like, it's not Christmas, it's a family thing. Why do you have a drink? So she says, it's not a Christmas party, it's after Christmas. It's a, it's a get together. You know, parents, our family members lie. They'll lie and say, it's not Christmas, it's not a birthday party. It's just a cake with candles in it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I'm still not going. But our parents don't lie because they feel, oh, I want to spend time with you, so they don't lie for the sake of wanting to spend time with you. We understand why they do it, but it's wicked, it's evil. Go ahead. But you know what? You know, it's just because it's December, that's, just, that's a Christian thing. You're not that way. So, you know, we shouldn't go. We shouldn't go. Go to, um... Uh, go back. Wait, uh, go to 2206. We we'll get to the point. 2206. So, the, so we showed earlier that we can't com we, well, we can't compromise. The Bible, the Bible is not a book of compromise. We can't do that. 22 right there is good. 2203 is good. So right there, we're gonna end it. We're gonna stop at uh 2345. Go ahead. And the church in Ilford. The court hears the defendant initially told police he dropped Joy off at home after the church event on the 26th of December. 26th was a Wednesday. I dropped her off on the 26th because my wife was pregnant. And at first, yes, on that day when I dropped her off, she was supposed to be spending the night with my wife because she normally stays with that with her sometimes. But this was a lie. He later claimed Joy didn't want to stay at her home and asked to go back to his flat in North London where she stayed on the sofa before he then took her back to Hatfield two days later. She was crying and she said she wanted that she was going to, to leave. She to said, leave the church? Yes, she said that it would be okay for her to come to Greenwood. 
and I told I explained to her, look, you come um, we're not supposed to be staying together. So we went to Ripwood and she stayed in the living room. She stayed on the couch in the living room. Then um, the next day I took her back to um, Hatfield when she had come down. Coming out in the court case, that chauffeur picked up Joy and dropped her back. With it just being those two in the car, that just rings alarm bells because that was never supposed to happen. Yeah. IUIC was so stringent about the relationship between men and women. And I know that there was a time that Shofar was told explicitly not to have Joy in his car unless his wife was present. And that was done in front of the school. That was done in front of the congregation on, on the Sabbath. So when we set up protocols and orders for y'all to follow, you follow or you will end up in jail for years and years because we rather broke protocol. He went against the protocols that were set up and was set and was even made, made and was even told before the whole congregation, do not spend alone time with, with, with sisters, especially if you are a married brother. He did not listen to her. No. He didn't he did not listen and she didn't listen either. Joy didn't listen either. No, no, what what they said is in front of the congregation. He, was, congregation, that's what I'm saying. he was told not that's what I said. It's told to not to spend time on her in front with of the her. congregation. You know what I mean? Yeah. With, so, with, with joy, not right. to drop her home alone. Right. He was stood up in front of the whole congregation, and he was corrected. Brother, don't drop this sister home by yourself unless your wife is present. But they were still doing it anyway. Hey, let but me what, what, I'm showing you is, what I'm showing you is that we set things in place to protect the sisters. And that, when that, and that order was violated. And this video is going to prove this right here is going to exonerate the entire organization. I'll tell you right now, this video, this part right here, we're going to let you know that Esau knows that it was out of our hands what took place. All right, there's that. An order was just given like that just recently. Who knows about the order that was given concerning dropping a sister home? Your hand? Who else? Who else? Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Whoever knows. Almost everybody here on the damn group me hand should have went up. Because who gave the order? Me! Because there was a sister trying to get a ride back and forth. I said, if I catch any of y'all giving the sister a ride back and forth, you're going to be dealt with. Okay? That order was given because she was going from person to person to person to person. And when it got to me, another sister brought it to me. That she was trying to ask her which person would break the protocol and do it. I said, you know what? To be safe, since I don't know what's going on, I'm going to put it on the group me. So this was recent that I said that. Okay, but go ahead. Thank you. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. We'll stop at 45. Seven. So it's beyond me how and why she continued getting lifts from him or he continued giving her lifts. That shouldn't have happened. The jury then hears that Joy's house. So, real quick, first Maccabees 5, 16. Watch this. First Maccabees 5, 16. I'm going to show I'm gonna ask y'all a question real quick. I'm going to test y'all real quick. First Maccabees 5, 16. Now when Judas and the people heard these words, they assembled a great congregation together to consult what they should do for their brethren right, that were in be, trouble and, assault, and assaulted of them. Go ahead. Then said Judas unto Simon his brother, Choose thee out men and go and deliver thy brethren that are in Galilee, for I and Jonathan my brother will go into the country of Galad. Right, so you go to Galilee... And me and Jonathan are going to go to Gilead. Go ahead. So he left Joseph, the son of Zacharias and Azarias, captains of the people. So he set up captains of the people. He left Joseph and Azarias as captains of the people. Go ahead. With the remnant of the host in Judea to keep it. To watch over Judea while they're gone. Go ahead. Unto whom he gave commandment. Saying, Unto what? Unto whom he gave commandment. Saying, saying what? Take ye the charge of this people and see that ye make not war against the heathen until... The time that we come again. Protocol. Jump to verse 45. Then Judas gathered us together, all the Israelites that were in the country of Galad, from the least unto the greatest, even their wives and their children and their stuff, a very great host to the end that they might come into the land of Ju Judea. So Judas was successful in, in, in getting his people and bringing them back to Judea. Okay, safe from the heathen. Go to 54. So they went up to Mount Zion with joy and gladness, where they offered burnt offerings, because not one of them was slain until they had returned in peace. Uh-huh. Jump to verse 55. 
Now, what time as Judas and Jonathan were in the land of Galat, and Simon, his, br his brother in Galilee before Ptolemaeus, Joseph, the son of Zechariah and Azariah, captains of the garrisons, heard of the violent, valiant acts and warlike deeds which they had done. These are the captains that they set up, that Simon set up. Go ahead, while they were gone. Go ahead. Wherefore they said, let us also get us a name and go fight against the heathen that are round about us. Go ahead. So when they had given charge into the garrison that was with them, they went toward Jamna. Go ahead. Jamnia. Then came Gorgias and his men out of the city to fight against them. Watch this. And so it was that Joseph and Azariah were put to flight. Watch this. And pursued unto the borders of Judea. And there were slain that day of the people of Israel about 2,000 men. Question. Simon and them, what does Simon tell them not to do? Whose fault? So 2,000 men were killed. 2,000 sons, 2,000 husbands possibly. 2,000 um, brothers were killed, right? Whose fault is that? Is it jo Simon, Judas, and Jonathan's fault? Do you read anywhere in this chapter where they blame Simon or anyone for that? No. That's my point. Our orders were broken, orders were violated, and lives were lost in the process of protocol being broken. You cannot blame Judas Maccabeus' organization for the act of two idiots. Can't do it for making you, protocol. You, you can't you, do that. You, it's we, not biblical. You could do a whole class on that. Now nah, you just you, you open up a whole bag of, of, of can of worms. Y'all didn't read about the same thing with Achan and the Babylonian garment? Yep. Before they went to war, they were told, don't touch nothing. Okay? One man took, and what did the most high allow? We were dropping like flies. Okay? Numerous instances where one man deviates and all, the whole nation pays for it. Um, that's why I told you this stupid, dumb, black Hebrew Israelite groups. What were they doing? They weren't saying, you know, this was the act of this man. They started, they took, they skipped past him and what he was doing and started doing videos on Bishop Nathaniel. You see how evil they are? And that's why he said, you don't read about that in the scriptures. You have plenty of instances where men went against the ranking system and what was put in place, and it caused the nation harm. They didn't attack the leader. What did they do during the time of Achan? Moses had to, uh, Joshua had to go and speak to the Lord. And he said, you're going to go from house to house, and you're going to figure out who it was till they got to Achan's house and found out it was him in the treachery. Okay? It's the same thing with us. When things were going wrong, we had to do an investigation. We were trying to find things out. What hindered the investigation? Lying devil eel. Devil eel. The flat-faced boy, uh, what's, I forgot his name. I the Chinese-looking guy. Elmer. Okay, Elmer. him, those men. Okay, because at the same time that this thing is going wrong while the sister's missing, and we didn't have time to allocate resources to that because these men were attacking us. They were gearing up and attacking us. And the Israelite community, what did they do? They joined in with the attack. A person that believes in God and reads their Bible and follows what the scriptures say, they will never behave in that manner. Go ahead, Deacon. Go to 24, 17. Almost done. Proverbs 11, verse 14. Read that. Then we'll be, go to the video. So I want you to go to 24, 17 here. We're going to be, we're gonna stop at 40. Very, read what you got. Proverbs 11, chapter 11, verse 14. Uh -huh. Where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. In the multitude of counselors, sisters, Brothers, there is safety. Learn to follow counsel, and things will go fine. Because where there's counsel, there's safety. Go to the video now. And she phoned me. So she got her, her key. She phoned him. So that, that means she's not around. She's not around. But what were they doing in his flat? He claims they watched several videos, including one from former IUIC church member Bezalel, about why he'd left the organization all part of Shofar El Israel's story that Joy was considering leaving. And not just the, the sins I was committing uh, at the time, but was also putting the organization above the law. The court heard Joy's phone number was removed from a church instant messaging group on Telegram on the 28th of December. It's one of the ways someone shows they have decided to leave the organization. Some church members who gave evidence said that was a surprise because Joy didn't seem unhappy. Many of them tried to contact her on the phone. 
But the prosecution so, say so, it was. So ASAP explained earlier, and on the video also, they played the video, you explained the That's video right. why things went how they went. Because the video went out, many departed from the body, and we, were not, we did not pay attention. We said, okay, well, people, when we read John 6, people left. Christ didn't chase nobody. If we had said, where are you going? Why are you leaving? How do we sound? Like a cult. We sound crazy. Right. So okay, you leave, you're grown. You go, you go. I see all the time, and this truth is what? It's a revolving door. People <laughs> come and go. So if you leave, you're not going to go, why are you leaving? What right. happened? Right. But, now, but, we didn't, but then later on, we realized she was a missing person. Right. Then we went and said, okay, wow, she's a missing person. We didn't know we thought she left anybody else because a, a little one was offended. Matthew 18 and verse 6, because it is dumbass's video. Matthew 18, verse 6. That's, he's the cause of, of the all confusion of where her whole all thing, of whole thing is of that was video. from him. Okay? Run for that video, she would not have been disgruntled and, and talking and being in that man's house watching videos. And that to confusion, to lie no on Kanai, who they just dropped the charges on him last oh, week. Oh, yes. So okay? praise the Lord. All that lies. All them people. Remember all them women coming to his house with video camera and calling him thief? And the white man looked into it and said, this is bogus and dismissed all charges. Charges have been dropped. Okay? Dropped. Wait, wait. Let me let me refresh your memory. So you all re, you all remember they put up video on on social media on Facebook. They they went to the bishop house. They took a, they got him arrested wrongfully, accused him of stealing. Put his mugshot on the screen. Put saying, his, I am IUIC. Put his screen. mugshot all over social media. Say I am IUIC, and saying that our bishop our bishop is a thief and this and that. All of that what they did. The white men look at it. The white men say, you all niggas is lying. Okay. That, we can't the, make any clearer. And than drop that. all the charges. Okay. Okay. You watch those men. Because I didn't play the footage because I didn't want to uh, make it look like I was trying to defend him anywhere or the other. Because a lot of y'all was accusing me of trying to defend Bishop Kanai. And we already set up here, if he is doing something we don't know about it, and the Most High is judging him, ain't nothing we could do. We're not like these dumb Hebrew Israelite groups, okay? We know what the Bible says. So we have to wait till the results come in, wait until the powers that be, the people with authority, judge the matter, and let them make the decision, okay? And it's the same thing we do around. Don't take our, our silence as weakness, okay? The worst thing you could do is come and not come correct. Because after we finish and we see, uh, I, I, I remember the bishop always tells us, I forgot what movie it was that you, you I, I don't know if it was X-Men or whatever, when they were going to war and everybody was running in and he said, wait. <laughs> he said, wait. Okay? Over. That's how the bishop get down. He said, don't send everybody. Don't send all the forces. Fall back. Okay? So we don't, we don't do things like dumb, stupid, black Hebrew Israelites. Okay? We're patient. We'll wait. We wait on the Lord. We wait for things. We sit down. We counsel. We don't run in like all you idiots so you can look stupid later on in the end. Have egg in your face. With egg on your face. 18 verse 6. Almost done. 930, 930. 18 verse 6. Matthew 18 verse 6. Uh -huh. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he would drown in the depth of the sea. It'd be better if you killed yourself. That's what the Bible says. It'd be better if you just killed yourself. Get on um, Proverbs 6, verse uh, 16. Real quick. Proverbs 6, verse 16. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 16. These, these six things of the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. The, an, uh, the seventh is an abomination to him. Go ahead. A proud look. One. A lying tongue. Two. And, hand, and hands that shed innocent blood. Three. And heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. Four. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. Five. A false witness that speaketh lies. Six. There's a seventh. And he that soweth discord among bre That's brethren. That's an abomination in the eyes of God. And God Sowing hates Sowing discord. And God hates God your hates guts. God hates your guts. 2650. So I'm trying to think for Sister Joy, even if this brother was um, Shafael, even if he was going to pick her up, he had wrong. How did she feel? If, the, if this man was dropping in front of her house saying, oh, I'm here, I'm going to bring you to the school now, she would just say yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
IUIC members follow strict rules which it claims are set out in the Bible. There's no sex before marriage and women and men aren't allowed to be alone together if they're not husband and wife. Single men and women who want to date each other need approval from church leaders and will have to be chaperoned if they want to go on a date. If leaders don't like the way members are behaving... So that's, that's advertisement. Yeah. They showed married couples, order, you can't be alone with the woman, no boyfriends and girlfriends. This, this is not negative that, in any that, way. Exactly. So okay. once again, BBC, we thank you. Clap your hands for yourself. Con, 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 I don't want con, 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 con. Um, get, um, 31, 11, real quick. So when you go to 3015, ASAP, it clears up why we didn't address the issue of her missing the first time because people left due to that dumbass's video, jackass video, and that's the reason why we didn't deal with them at first. As many people left. That's right. And, we, and there's, understand, we're not a congregation of like many, like House of Dotards, where it's 20 people for 20 years. We're thousands of members. We can't keep track of track thousands of, of people. When you okay. read Deuteronomy, I'm not going to read it, but when you read Deuteronomy 21, verse 1 to 9, it mentions if a dead body is found somewhere. And the priest had to go there and find out um, where the body is closest to a city and set up prayers to the Lord saying, we're clear of this blood. So, so during Moses' time, Israel was murdering Israel. When you read Deuteronomy 21, verse 1 to 9, and they had to set up prayers to the Lord to clear up the guilt if anyone knew about it or didn't see anything. That's according to the law. So Israel, you know, so when Israel comes into this troop, you're going to find people coming in here with different walks of life. Some of you are going to come in here sick, mental issues. We got a guy threatening us right now. Some guy on YouTube. A guy us just right put now. a video up now talking us. about he's going to shoot us and shoot members. Right. So, okay. But again, Israel, all Israel is not sane. Some Israelites come in here with mental issues, male and female. You have to come in thinking, oh, everything's, everyone's perfect, everyone's holy. Something wrong with you. Paul had issues in the churches. He was over. We're going to have him in here also. That's right. That's not, that's not realistic thinking. Something's wrong with you would think that. That's right. Go and, to um, 3111. And the same men who Christ helped, he was asking them, what did I do to you? Now you, you're trying to kill me. Now you seek to kill me. It's the same thing right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. He says, a man that have, uh, have showed you uh, the truth from the beginning, now you seek to kill me. It's the same thing right now. Right, so you go to, like I said before, 3015 to 3110, ASAP clears up why police were uncontacted originally, whatever, that's in another video. But let's go down to 3111, right here. Start here, we're going to stop at 3217. Israel United in Christ says when its members found out Joy was officially missing, they started carrying out searches and handed out flyers in the UK, Netherlands, France and Germany. In a statement, the church said Joy was a beloved member who went from being shy and reserved to a confident and jovial young woman and its members miss her dearly. But one former London member says she was humiliated in front of the congregation after she asked questions about Joy. So I wrote mental questions down and one of the questions was why you never informed the, the next of kin? And the other question was um, why you you didn't get in touch with the family or with police when you realized that she was just missing them because it wasn't like... She's asking these questions because she was in contact with a brother that left the congregation and spoke evil of it. She was screwing him and, and giving him information while in, the, while in the congregation. She was basically doing being a, a double agent. She was in the congregation feeding flat face in him, the guy she was screwing on the side, that left information. So she was asking questions for them. And they came out and said it. We caught her in the messages. That's why she's saying it. So, he, so, so they said, listen, man, if you do have a problem, you can leave. And she got up and left and stormed out with her crazy self. That's what she's talking about. Right. She was never stood up and humiliated. Just make it clear what she's describing. She was, t the people who were attacking us when we didn't know, she was working with them. Right. Remember I showed you points, uh, page uh, posts that I got of uh, Get a Liar telling his little brother to go and be a spy and get, y'all don't remember that? Okay? He said that he told his little brother, he was calling people from the United States in England saying try and get people to find out things so he could take back to the media. She was a part of that also. So don't fall for the okie doke. We have his own proof, his own writings. Then when I brought it out, because he didn't know that I had it, he said, I didn't tell my little brother to do that. Yes, you did. Now he's trying to act like he's, he's absolved of all this. 
Okay? He's the key figure in this. A the deacon, key, go ahead. Deacon, not just that. He was running around saying that we hiding this. We're hiding we, the body. We, we allowing people to... Sign non-disclosure you know, agreement. This agreement, yes. and they're not uh, cooperating with authorities. And then when you look at the documentary, the detectives say, listen, everybody cooperated. We're going to so get it. What, what was We're going to get it. Huh? We're gonna, we're gonna show it. I'm going to show okay. you when she says it. Go to, uh, I'm going to show I'm gonna play it when she says it. So that make this dude a damn liar. He was this a liar second. and he was causing confusion. That's what he was doing. And the, the, the detectives and them over there had to reach out to him on Facebook and tell him, yo, you shut gotta you you shut to your mouth, it. you disrupting our case. Be quiet. So the white man had to tell you that then you're behind <laughs> get quiet. You know what I mean? Go to <laughs> one, I think it's twenty, I think it's um, thirty. Thirty fifteen. And who endorsed him when he was doing the lies? Who was the one that was now siding with get a liar when he was doing the lies? Black Hebrew Israelite groups that hate us. They started taking pictures of him, putting him on Facebook, letting him go to their organizations. They wasn't. They didn't want nothing to do with IUIC. But as soon as they figured this guy had some credible information, now all of a sudden he's going to their camp. He taking pictures. You see him there with his son. That's, that's why it, that's I tell it. you, that's it. you just gotta wait sometimes, and the Most High will reveal that's the it. true that's heart it. of these people. Don't believe everything you see on YouTube in, in, in front of a camera. No. Okay, you wait on the most ties well, time to expose. What these amazes people. me, ASAP, is that this this dude you're referring to, Elmer, had more care about Joy in London than, than his own wife. He's exactly. up on the highway at two o'clock in the morning. Exactly. Hey. hey. Okay. Hey. You weren't married to her. You were married to your wife here. He's up in the highway at two o'clock no. in the morning. No, this. Where was your joy then for that? No, this. No, this little. This little. This little kid, right? This. This little kid. He came amongst us as a little kid, man. And we nurtured this brother, took care of him. You know what I mean? He needed a place to stay. We gave him a job, roof over his head. You know what I mean? And we take care of this little brother growing up. He had issues. You know what I mean? He got this little brother he had issues, man. You know, and still had issues. And we try helping him. Enough time this brother come, come to us crying. I'm like, bro, why are you crying, bro? And we counsel him and help him. You feel what I'm saying? We counsel him and help him, and for him to, and 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 he got he had problems in his marriage, and his wife, his wife decided to leave him. He didn't want to listen to us when it come to, to counsel and marriage. He was dealing messed up with his wife, and his wife wanted to leave him, and he blamed us, so he turned against us and cursing us out. That's what you all seeing because why his woman left him. You gotta blame somebody. The blame right. falls on so us. He blames us. himself. He blames us. You understand? Watch it. Go, go play that now. Watch this for the, for the police uh, police cooperation. Right there. What was your view of the church? Were they helpful? Everyone that we approached spoke to us. Did you find any resistance or lack of cooperation from the church and members of the church? Um, no, I don't think we did, really. I don't think we did. I think everyone that we approached to, to give a statement gave us a statement. In a church video, US leaders claim members in the UK thought Joy had gone quiet because she'd left IUIC after disappearing. ASAP explains why we, we addressed it sooner. In that, in that part of the video, you can watch it on your own. Go and on. I only had to go into that because black, dumb Hebrew Israelite groups were attacking us. Right. What was my Psalm in 7 and 30? I'm almost done. I'm wrapping up right after this. Matthew 7, what was my Psalm in 7 and 30? So, again, like we said before, these things that happen, we're living Bible prophecy, and it's only gonna get it's only, as as we progress and grow more and more, the propaganda, the slander, and the evil will grow more and more. That's all right, because the Lord's with us, regardless. Wisdom of Psalm 730. For after this cometh night, but vice shall not prevail against wisdom. But vice or evil shall not prevail against wisdom. That goes in Matthew, get that, 16 verse 18. Saying the exact same thing. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Mm -hmm. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, in Christ I will, himself, upon this rock is Christ the foundation. Go ahead. I will build my church. Our church is built on that rock, Christ. Go ahead. In the gates of hell. In the gates of corruption, the evil, the nations, the enemy, and the heathen Negroes that are behind them. That's behind them. Go ahead. And the gates of hell shall not prevail 
against it. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. So y'all can keep on trying, keep on lying, and you're going to end up dying regardless. That's a t-shirt. That's Bars. a t-shirt. Bars. That a, you just made my quota. I stopped at 11. Thank you for my 12 t-shirt. <laughs> That's a t-shirt. That, hey. You say shalom. You know how it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, go, go to Job 5 and 12. Job 5 and 12. As Deacon Item brought out, the gates of hell is not going to prevail against us. Now, the, 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 what took place in London, that's a tragedy, man. Yes. You know what I mean? No, I never, my heart went out, go, goes out to the family. And, you know, when I, you know, that thing hurt my heart, man. You know what I mean? And I know, imagine the brothers and sisters that know the sister. Imagine how they are hurting. You know, and then to see the media use it, use, these, use the situation, and you got other Israelite groups that use the situation, opportunists, and you got disgruntled people that was amongst us. For them to use that situation of that sister missing, you understand? Well, well she ain't missing no more. They pronounce it a murder. You know what I mean? For them to use that situation to, to, as an opportunist to attack us, that's a dirty, low-down way to fight, man. That's right. Don't it's forget, Miss Cleo. It's dirty and it's low. You understand? For you to assist the disappearance, you know what I mean? A sister missing. A sister might be dead. Might be, might, it, for you to do that, man, that's low. That's right. And for you can't. to use that to attack us, that's low, man. When we, we protect you, sis, we got guidelines set up inside you for all of your protection. You understand? And Esau know that too. And you know we don't play no games. The reality is this, um, Deacon Alakari, the reality is this. Even before we watched she was missing, they want her dead because they want to blame us. Right. Because right. I'm hoping that she's still around. She's right. still alive somewhere. I'm hoping right. that's my hope. I'm not saying she's dead. I'm right. not going to say that. It's, it's, I'm hoping she's around somewhere. But the wicked of our people and the heathen hope that she's dead. So yep. They can say, see, they're behind it. That's yep. the whole agenda. Yep. Right. That's right. why they rushed to start GoFundMe. I don't believe page. she's dead. That's they started opinion. collecting money for her. Right. So now, seeing that, seeing that um, the brother was um, convicted of, of, of murder, BBC News, they did a documentary. No, they, they don't just do documentary and anything. You understand? Yeah, you know, that's a high funded organization. So they reached out to. People that left us, that's disgruntled. You understand? People that hate us, they reach out to. So the stuff that you hear in there from these people, Bezalia and all of them, yo, they are people that hate us. That's their views that you are getting. They're not hearing the views of the brothers and sisters amongst us. Those of you all that hear that your life has changed, that you learned the word of God and, you, and it changed your life. You understand? It's all propaganda. You know, that's what, this is an attack. Understand that it's an attack. You know what I mean? And they're using that sister, Joy Morgan. I never met her, but I see a couple of videos with her speaking and so forth. And she, they, the sister had a sweet spirit, and they're using that situation to attack us. You know, if you listen, watch the video, as you all said, it's only like seven minutes in there, they're speaking about Joy Morgan. Right. Everything else is geared towards IUIC. You understand? It's an attack. That's what it is. You know what I mean? But read that scripture for me. Job 5 and 12. Job chapter 5 verse 12. But listen, we was built for this. God created, God created the prophets to deal with certain things. They don't, the prophets does not how to say. The, the prophets don't back down. We don't compromise. And when we go into fire, it does not burn us up. You understand? Like when you put gold in fire, when the gold, the hotter the fire is, the gold become purer. Purified. You understand? It, be, it purifies. So when we go through things, it does not, the prophets, the, 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 the gold, you brothers, and sis, you brothers and sisters amongst us, that's gold. Those are your, when you all go through things in the street, it's not going to destroy you. It's going to make you stronger and better. I know how to fight better and stronger. You understand? That's what the scriptures say. But read that for me. This, this is for that, that, that Edomite. Job chapter 5, verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So he dis disappointed the devices of the crafty. The crafty device that they say they would do was set up a video, a documentary, 
and try to blame us for negligence or whatever for the dis for the um the disappearance of um sister joy you understand that's what that's the crafty counsel that they got that they're trying to do you know they went to this they went to evil people that left from amongst us and they're trying to put that they're trying to put propaganda out there to sway the minds of the people because they know what what do they know what does esau know that everybody else don't know they know the people in the principalities in high places they know if we leave these guys in purple alone yo, yo do i gotta say the rest <laughs> they know if they leave us alone the, they know what's gonna happen so they said we got to take them we got to try to at least slow them down you understand because we ain't here to play no games you know what i mean the scripture says and the sins of the most i shall what we're going to take the kingdom. You understand? This when you read, you read his, um, Revelation early on, it said, And they stood upon their feet, a great exceeding army. And it says, When they saw us, it says, Fear came upon them. So when the fear came upon us, came upon them, go to Revelation 12 and 17 and read that real quick. And then, and then jump back to Job and read that again. Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. The dragon was mad at the woman. The woman is the 12 tribes of Israel. Read on. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So it says, read that again, that I meant to make war with what? And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. So the dragon is Edom. It says they will be angry with us. And they're gonna go, they're gonna be angry with who? With that army that stood upon their feet. You understand? That keep what? Read on. Which keep the commandments of God. It's not just any Israelites they're angry with. They're not angry with the Yahya Israelites. <laughs> Those Yahya Israelites. They they ain't angry at them because they ain't about nothing. They sit below their bed and teach the Bible. They sit in their bedroom and teach a Bible. They're on Facebook all day. That's what them yah yah do. And they talk bad and big and bold from behind their computer. You understand? That's what they do. You know? The, the, those yah yah Israelites. And they let women lead them. Yeah. Big mouth <laughs> yeah. women leading them. You see? And they That's not a threat. They scared to, to put themselves on the line for their people. You know what I mean? But let me tell you all some boy, brothers that came from the One West camp. We are a different breed. You know what I mean? We are a different breed of Israelites. The brothers that came from 125th. You understand? They, the leaders that taught these men, even though some of them went off, they taught, they taught the bishop right. And that same spirit the bishop got on him, he put on us. And other men that left out of there, they on the street teaching too, same way. And it's a different breed, it's a different spirit. You understand? Read that for me again. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. That's why I said they don't care what you, Yahya, Israelite, because you don't have the testimony of Christ. You understand? So that's who they're going to make war with, and the war have begun. That's why you see, that's why you see that documentary went out. That documentary, it really went out to, to, for what? To, to mess with the minds of the people. To make them feel that this organization is a cult. Mm -hmm. They can't protect you, sisters. You know what I mean? That's what this, that's what this put out there for. They can't protect you all. All that stuff they you're seeing on YouTube, they can't protect you all. You all don't join them. That's 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 the message they are trying to put. That's why they got the the, the pit bull, that demon woman from S from Southern Poverty Law up there speaking. You know what I mean? But go back to where you was at and read it again, Job Job. 5 and 12. Read that again. Job chapter 5 and verse 12. He disappointeth the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So they all ain't performing nothing, man. Your hands, the enterprise they, that, that they plan against it, their hands is not going to perform it. You understand? What Bezalel little plan? Hey, Bez, Bezel, Bezel demon sent me a text message. Devil Leo. Devil Lil. Right. Devil Devil Dill, he private messaged me on Messenger. 
He said, oh, this time when you all fall, you all will never rise. I said, I was wondering why this Negro sent me this. That's probably right after he did that interview yep. with the damn demon. I'm like, yo, why is this dude sending me this? Like, this time when you all fall, you always never rise. Remember Deacon Iton brought out the main reason people became, become traitors is because of what? Revenge. You understand? Revenge. You know? Anyways. And, and again, nobody did nothing to him. Right. If you tell him to speak and say, all he can say is, him and, and, and his Bishop business Kanan. dealing with Bishop Kanai fell apart, which none of us had anything to do with that. Right. And he's so stupid. Our loyalty to him was so great. If he would have been on, on hardship, he could have just came to us. We would have helped him out. He didn't even have to go that route. We would have still did anything that we could to help him where he was. The problem was he never trusted us. Exactly. He, he never trusted us. Goal. He was always against us. And he, and he always wanted the upper hand. That's how we deal with the people here. The men that are even uh, uh, get a liar. Prior to him doing what he was doing, the last time I spoke with his wife was to help them with their finances. Okay? On numerous occasions. So don't listen to these guys. That's why he started saying, when it was exposed that he was stealing from us and taking stuff, he starts, well, how much do I owe? How much? You know how much you owe. What do you mean how much you owe? You know what you stole? Okay? Because we've been helping you without no, with no strings attached, no nothing, because we saw you as... You've been coming here, and that's what we do. Are okay? He, he been here as a little kid, like as 16, a little kid. 17. Y'all know. Y'all you know, his friends. Y'all speak with him. Y'all know. Well. It's, it's impossible for us to make these things up because, as it says in Hebrews chapter 12, since you are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, right. all eyes is on us, man. Right. If we tell a lie to y'all here, there's, 50, there's hundreds of people that's going to be like, yo, you're lying. This is what you did. Y'all see how we do everything openly. Ain't nothing done behind the scenes. And that's what they were thinking, that whatever was going on uh, with, with Bezalel and in Texas, that we were aware of it. We know, yeah. Okay, we don't know what was, what was going on down there. And if we would have been privy to what was going on down there, you better believe it would have got fixed. But because those men hated us and they had different agendas, they said, we're falling and we're going to take these guys down when we go down. You underestimated that you're not dealing with the average nigga. Yeah. We that one in ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. Go Let ahead. me get the Jude, the Jude four. Cause sometimes, man, we uh, we we using the. Uh, I mean, we like charity said. Charity said, uh, "Take no evil." But, but some brothers, their actions, we got to put them in this class. They they belong in this folder right there. Go ahead. Uh, the book of Jude, verse 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained. Those to some, some things, man, you got to put these brothers in this folder right there, as Jude said. That's it. <laughs> because what have we done to the brother? Nothing. But he was ordained Nothing. to do what he does. You understand? We got to put him in this folder, man, and put his name on it. You know, have right. weed or whatever name you want to give that brother. Man, but he belonged in that folder right there. Go ahead who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men. You see that? Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God. And our because that's Lord what Christ. he did. He denied God, not John, with the enemy. But in his mind, he's thinking that he's fighting us. No! You know better than that. You're not fighting us, brother. You're fighting the most high God and his son. That's who you're fighting against, man. Then your hands is too short. Have we... A uh, black devil. Read that for me. Let me show you all how we roll in our UIC because a lot of people, they, they, be, they be praying for us to fall. Yep. You understand? Let me show you all how the, and how the prophets and them roll. You be know what I mean? Micah 4 verse 10. Be in pain and labor to bring forth. Read that again. Be in pain and labor to bring forth. The scripture says to be in pain. And, and what? Labor. And what? And labor to bring forth. Brothers, wasn't we in pain these last couple months? Sister Joy end up missing. You understand? And so forth. Wasn't we in pain? You know, all the attacks that been coming against us. Wasn't we in pain, brothers? But while we was in that pain, what was we doing? Keep on reading. 
be in pain and labor to bring forth. We were still laboring. We were still putting in the work. Even though all these things was coming against us. And that's how the prophets roll, man. You understand? Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.